everybody, and a very good morning. Welcome to Crafters TV. My name is Ben Mosby. It's Friday. Yes. Yes. Thank you, sound effect people. I wasn't actually a sound effect, that was Becky, but I'll introduce her in just a second. Uh, it's a fantastic day today, day number five of our summer news event where we have a brand new launch each and every day. We have free gifts when you spend over 10 and double points on everything that continues, of course, today. It's very exciting and a jam-packed day lined up for you as well. Later on this evening, six o'clock UK time, one o'clock Eastern, we have got a craft vault, Sarah's signature styley. Uh, in between times, we have got a fantastic softer side of life with brand new goodies. And of course, we wake you up this morning on Wake Up Call with, well, previews of as much as we can preview in two hours. Because alongside that, we've got to fit in Fun Time Friday. And it's the one you've all been waiting for. It's going to be carnage in about 40 minutes time. Who let the dogs out? <laughs> Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yes, uh, it is National Bring Your Dog to Work Day, so we will be introducing you to not one, not two, but three dogs that will be coming into the workplace and causing carnage for about 20 minutes. It should be a lot of fun. Uh, add into the mix that we have got one of my absolute faves here for the first two shows today. Not for the last one. Uh, Debbie Fisher's going to be here, so a uh, bit of a hashtag slacker. Uh, back for just two shows. <laughs> it is, that's all right, look then. It is the lovely Becky Swan. How are you? I'm all right, but that's a bit rude. What, what, what? I'm not a slacker. Oh, oh sorry. No, I don't no. have multiple holidays to go on. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Are you talking about me now or are you talking about Debbie Fisher? Uh, it could be either, let's be honest, yeah, isn't it? Either yeah, either or. It could be either. I mean, yeah. It's lovely to have you back. You're looking very uh, vibrant and summery Thank today. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling a little bit like um, Villanelle from Killing Eve in this dress. I've got those kind of vibes. Don't know what that is. Oh, OK. You should watch the show. It's good. Uh, it's a pink dress she a wears. Villain elf. V vil she's called Villanelle. Oh. <laughs> a villain elf. That's what I thought you said. <laughs> That could be something that Craig is um, for Halloween. <laughs> Villanelle. <laughs> with, a, with, a, with a cloak. Halloween <laughs> is coming. Halloween <laughs> is coming. Um, it is going to be a fab show today. By the way, before we get into it, um, it was your birthday. It was. A few days yeah. ago. Was it good? It okay. was, yeah. I'm, I'm going to celebrate properly on Monday. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I did. I, I worked. I was on Sewing Street on, on, my, on my birthday. But actually, I have got some birthday cakes have in you? the studio for us to have a little bit later on. What sort of cakes you got over there? Yeah, gorgeous cupcakes that really? Christina made for me. Mm -hmm. Ooh, how many have you got over there? Uh, 24. You hope? Well, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I should take my cake. If we take our cakes first, mm. then we'll put them over there. The other yeah. thing as well, we've got dogs coming in here about 35 minutes' yeah, time. So are they out of they're, reach? Not, they're not pup cakes. They're not pup cakes. No. No, no. Definitely cup cakes. My, my, my Molly will be... Uh, Sniffing those out Obviously. from about 100 yards, so look it out. It is going to be carnage with these dogs in, because they've not met before. No. It's like a blind date for dogs. Yeah, it will You're be. like Scylla, aren't you? <laughs> da, da, da. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm going to be just like Scylla. You're going to have them on the... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Will you choose dog number one, Molly? <laughs> She's 11 months old, and she'll be sure to round you up. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be fun. Um, you'll have to sit in the middle though. I'll sit here with my two, and then yeah. I think Craig can sit there with Clemmy. Yeah. Mac will be fine because yeah. he's just old and tired, and mm -hmm. I know how he feels. Yeah, so he'll too. just kind of sit here. Molly will be wanting to round probably you up, probably Craig up. She'll probably want to round up those cushions as well because they look a bit like sheep. They do. Um, so yeah. Well, that's probably not a bad thing actually. We do need someone to round us up in the morning. We do. Yeah. We do. Yeah. Uh, so that is all coming up. Your brand new launch though looks amazing. Yes, um, which I didn't bring with me over to the. Um, Sofa, but no. yeah, brand new launch. We've got these cut and stitch dies. These are festive dies. They are absolutely gorgeous. You can make them into decorations, um, little sort of gift gift tags, all sorts of different things for you. And um, they are going to be absolutely beautiful. Really easy for you to use. And um, they're beautiful um, item though. Now, at the bottom of the uh, screen there, you'll see those um, brand new items. That is the showstopper deal, which I'll, I'll have to explain to you as we get to it. But if you just want to buy the brand new launch, you can. Um, we've also got um, the fabric plates for the yeah. two, haven't we? Yeah, for the Junior and the uh, OG, or, mm -hmm. or the Gemini 2. Yeah, absolutely. Really, really useful. If you've not got fabric plates before, um, I de definitely would recommend you using them, even if you're not a fabric crafter. No, it's not, not a surface crafter. I use them for my paper craft, oh, do you? mainly because I can't be bothered to walk to the other side of the room where I've got all my other plates, mm. and they work just as well. Okay. Well, we'll be chatting more about that through the show. We've also got um, on the show 
the accessories for you too. So if you haven't yet picked up for your Gemini 2, the stand for your dice, that is available. And also the turntable for your Gemini 2 is available. We've kind of got multiple bundles for you. So if you just want plates, you can. If you just want the accessories, you can. Um, if you want the new launch, plus uh, felt, plus the accessories, plus the fabric plates, then you go for the showstopper. Uh, and like I said, you've got the ability today to get a free gift when you spend 10, and it's double points on everything as well. Fewer lows, and we'll get into it. We've got Radical Rachel on the socials this morning, already in with the puns, saying, good morning, ready to have so much fun. Because <laughs> you're doing the, oh, oh yeah. Uh, Alicia Gordon says, good morning and greetings from Arkan Fath. I'm getting ready for work whilst listening to my favourite channel. What are you listening to? <laughs> oh, oh, us. I see, I see what you mean. Us. Uh, peace and love to everyone and to you. Uh, Margaret says, good morning, team and worldwide crafters. Pamela Greenidge says, good morning, good morning, everyone. Sarah Brown says, hello, my crafty friends and all my favourite people at Crafters TV. The gang behind the scenes, we've got uh, Dean and Charlotte in the uh, seats today, steering the good ship craft. Uh, <laughs> Charlotte just went, hi, and Dean, um, he's been let loose on his own, just went, oh, 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 oh. you'll be fine, mate. It'll be absolutely fine. I um, uh, hope everyone is well, says Sarah Brown. Sending love and hugs to you all from Melbourne, Australia. Uh, Lorraine uh, Hillegas says, good morning, everyone. Um, Rachel says, are we going to get to meet your Laura? I can 100% guarantee you will not get to meet my Laura. Uh, there's no way she will. I've not met your Laura. Have you not? No. But you'll be able to meet her off screen, but there's no way she will I don't know if she here. actually exists. She does, actually. I think you've made her up. No. <laughs> She's definitely, yeah, she's definitely going to be in here today with the dogs, but nobody else will, will oh. see her. Oh, okay. Because she won't. She won't? No. No. Definitely not. not Could we just pretend we're not on air and she'd just come in anyway? Mm. Could we just do that? Just pretend we're not on air? No, I, I don't then? know whether she would just because she would be wary that we met, the cameras might go live and oh, she would okay. hate that. That would be her worst nightmare. Oh, would it? Okay. Yeah. Uh, Charlotte's here saying good morning all my crafting lovelies from here in Herne Bay. Uh, oh, Terry Anderson as well, thank you. You say I've just sent in a Telfy of Bailey. We're asking today as well for that little segment in about half an hour, uh, pictures of your dogs in front of the TV watching Crafters TV. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. What's their favourite craft? What do they like watching? Yes. Uh, maybe there's something in particular they, they like to watch. That's... I, I like that. I'm trying to think of something very clever while staring at you, but it's not quite <laughs> registering no. in my mind yet. We'll, come, we'll, we'll think of something later. Yeah, yeah we'll think yeah, of something. So. Uh, studio at craftuscompanion.co.uk for your dog telfies today, please. So your dog, Crafters TV on a TV in the background. Uh, Lillian says, hi, Becky. Sending belated Bertie, which is your way. Hello, Ben. Oh, thank you. Looking forward to seeing the doggies. Um, and quick question, straight up, let's get it out there. Sue King says, hello from County Durham. Hello, that's where we are. Uh, are the fabric plates best to use with all multimedia dyes? Yes, I would say so. Yeah, okay. definitely. Okay. They're, mu they're, much, um, they're much thicker. We'll go through them later on. Yeah. They're much thicker than that metal plate that you get, or well, that metal shim you get with your, um, your original, um, with your Gemini um, machine, first of all. Um, and I would, for all multimedia dyes, I would use though, the fabric plates because they're thicker. Excellent. Listen, I think we've got most of the hellos in. Syl says, uh, hello, morning all. So happy at softer side today. Uh, looking forward to puppy time. And Rosalind joins us from Maryland. Listen, if you don't usually tune into softer side, tune in today because we have got a fabulous uh, product for you. And also lots of things that are going to be pertaining to your Gemini 2 as well. Uh, we've got the plates, like I say, and the accessories, which you'll need to be picking up. But let's have a look at the softer side of life showstopper that we've got for you today. Uh, this collection comes with the brand new launch. It also comes with a whole host of accessories for you as well so you've got your four new dies in there um, which are brilliant um, you've got the ability to make your uh, snowman you've got the ability to make your little decorations you've got your father christmas and then you've got the reindeer in there too alongside that within the actual showstopper itself magnetic storage stand um, i mean this was sort of launched with the gemini 2 but just a handy bit of kit to have uh, whether or not you already have the machine we've then also got in the showstopper your turntable specifically for the gemini 2 uh, don't be drilling holes into your original gemini to try and fit this this has been designed to work 
with the Gemini 2 and just the Gemini 2. We've then got your two fabric plates in there as well. So your 9x12 and your 9x6. Those are included alongside that in the bundle. And we're going to throw in the felt bundle for you as well, which is in all of those beautiful festive colours. This is basically a big showstopper bundle built up of lots of other smaller bundles that we've got today. If you go for the showstopper today, you'll save an extra five pounds on buying all of the individuals. £111.91, £136.71 becomes £85 or $107, becomes £68 or £85.60 if you're a Platinum member. Remember, that will get you your free gift today because you're spending over a tenner and it will also get you double points, which is what we're doing right throughout the week as part of our summer event. Now, we're breaking up the bundle just a little bit here. If you do just want to go for the brand new dies, the Cut and Stitch Christmas Complete Collection, this is how you do it. 14 dies and your festive felt bundle. It works out actually that you get the felt for free within the bundle when you go for the smaller set. So the uh, Cut and Stitch Christmas Complete Collection is these four right here. So there's four sets of dies and then your free felt. £31.97 is your platinum price or $41.44 if you are shopping in the US and you are a platinum member. We've also got other deals available for you as well. The best thing to do early doors is shop the website, uh, see all of the deals there because if you just want to go for the uh, plates on their own, we've got bundles where you can buy the fabric plates with extra white cutting plates. We've also got individual deals. We've got a deal where you can get your accessories bundled up. If you just want uh, the felt on, that on its own, you can. If you just want the dies on their own you can basically check the web is what I would say to you um, and you will see all of the deals right there uh, we have also got a pick of the day for you as well which we will um, have a good look at a little bit later on but it is um, coming from the craft vault for you later this evening six o'clock tonight it is a Sarah Signature craft vault we'll be opening it up and I'll be going in there with uh, Debbie Debbie Fisher is going to be in for that one uh, it's all smaller bundles of some of your favorite Sara signature collections. So the pick of the day today is your garden party eight piece selection. Uh, includes uh, embossing folders, you've got some of your stencils there, you've got that uh, layering die set to build up your own flowers, you've got some edibles in there too, and shock horror, you've got the paper pad in there as well, the six by six paper pad, which I thought we didn't have anymore. Well, that's a turn up for the books. Look at the price as well. I will just point you at the price here. I'll go through this in more detail later, but all of the goodies that you've got there should be 68 pounds pretty much, $88, 16 pounds if you're platinum, or $20.80, incredible value for money. Double points on, on that, of course, as well, but the pick of the day is only available while stocks last, and of course, only for 24 hours. Thank you, everybody, for all of the uh, lovely comments coming through. Um, Ah, and Kathy Green, I'll take back what I said earlier on. Good morning, says Kathy. Uh, good morning, Ben and Becky. Ben, yesterday you said you never get any gifts in the mail. What about the very useful wrench? It's the, is it the only gift I've ever got? It's the most useful gift I've ever received, Kathy. Thank you. All the way from. Who's this? So, Kathy. Yeah. Yesterday, Craig received a package from Karen. Uh, it was an amazing package with a WWE shirt in and some, I think it was some Yankee candles. Yeah. Um, and so I was just, you know, doing the usual, oh, well, I never get sent back. Yeah. Me, 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 me. Um, so Kathy's just reminded me, and thank you, Kathy. I still have it, still in the green room, because she lives in Mechanicsburg. Yeah. I mean, what an amazing name of a place. Yeah. So she sent me a wrench from there with the name on it a little while ago, a little mini wrench. Um, oh. So I, I, I carry that one with me everywhere I go, just in case, you know, I need to tighten a few. Nuts bolts. or bolts. Yeah. But thank Often you. happens. You never know. You never you, know. You never know. Be prepared. Be exactly right. Be a, a good <laughs> be a good Boy Scout. Be that is a Boy Scouts, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. yeah be yeah. prepared. Yeah, be dib, prepared. Dib, dib, dob, dob, dob. Um, so thank you, Kathy. Right. Let well, that's the thing, isn't it? Yeah. Dib, that's dib, what dib, they dib, used dob, to dob, say. Dob. Yeah. I don't know if they say that anymore. Ah. Oh. And they, they used think? to do Bobber Job, didn't they? They did, yeah. They which I think was really quite weird. You know, they just sort of Go, go and ask random people if they needed any work done in their house. Yeah. Yeah. Or they'd stand at the um, end of a checkout queue and they'd start packing your bags for you and then be like that. 
don't put my fruit on top of <laughs> yes. my tins on top of my fruit. You've squashed your tomatoes. <laughs> uh, anyway, back in the real world, shall we get cracking and have a look yeah. at these brand new dyes? If you've got any questions on these, by the way, fire those into us, but grab them today, the fifth of our brand new launches this week as part of Summer News, and we're very excited to see them. I love the cushion you've got over there. I know, these are brilliant, aren't they? So I've got a few samples here to show you um, all the different things that you could be making with these. Now these are multimedia dies and they like a little bit like the cut and stitch dies we've had before, where we had the, like, the rainbow and the flowers. So you're going to be getting, the die's going to actually cut all those little perforations in order for you to stitch them together. Um, they're really, really cute. So obviously we've got a little reindeer cushion here, um, but we've also used them in all sorts of different things, including ah, little t-shirts. You. I mean, aren't we always struggling for a Christmas jumper, Christmas top. It's difficult. Make your own Christmas PJs for Christmas Eve boxes. Good idea. Really good idea. Really cute little things here. And they're quite substantial size wise. This I really like and this is going to be something that I'm going to kind of go at replicating um, later on. A little cushion cover with all of those little um, those little sort of um, fairy lights on there. And obviously using them in a different way. I mean we're, obviously with these are festive ones but actually fairy lights using them for the summer for weddings, that kind of thing. Decorating them that kind of way. Um, then we've got a uh, little table mat we've used a couple of little Santas in here and um, just to decorate some of your Christmassy makes mm. we've then got a little bottle holder here oh I love that yeah, little tipples no going on going putting a little bottle of Prosecco or something like that in there that's great limoncello um, and then decorating it that way um, another one a little larger one and then finally we've got a little um, stocking here with those gorgeous little reindeer and, and one Rudolph, because obviously, you know, there is only one Rudolph. Um, oh, so lots yes. of things you can be doing with these. And I think they are a really lovely item to have, um, to, to make. Again, I always sort of think about when you're going to spend time with the children, are there things that the, the kids can make? Absolutely, they can. And um, to show you what you're going to be getting, you've got your snowman, first of all. And you can see, he, they, they are, they're a really cute kind of design. Then you've got your reindeer. Then you've got your Santa. And then you've got your holly and your um, little lights, and that's in, those those two sets in them. Yeah. Um, so this is one we're going to use. Um, I'll open them up so you can see the dies. Obviously, I've used these, so they are looking a little bit sorry for themselves. Mm -hmm. um, your ones obviously look a lot better. Yeah. Now, what you've got here, um, we've tried to give you lots of different options. So what you can do is you can cut out of your fabric and cut the outside edge of the holly, perhaps, and then you can pop this piece inside which will create all those little perforations and um, to cut around but there's nothing to stop you from having a big piece of fabric and then just using this perforated one and then popping that onto the fabric and so you've just got that that shape stitched in rather than cutting you say you're sort of cutting into the fabric rather than just cutting out so that is an option for you to do yeah and obviously you've got the little um lights down here we've got the little um what are they called holly berries yeah. in there and um, this is this little piece here this forms that little top of the light as well so we've given you lots and lots of different options in here and obviously they mix and match together so you can make them um, you know useful for um, you know having your, your father Christmas maybe he's got a sprig of holly um, or, or just kind of those little red um, baubles on yeah there. And, um, and just to speak to our paper crafters as well yeah. of course you can use these with your cardstock 100% this bundles perfect isn't it because you've got the dies then to use in your paper yep. craft and the, uh, the festive uh, felt that gets with yep. it keep the kids busy absolutely and that's the thing you know i mean it's coming up for the summer holidays soon um if you've got children you're thinking about what on earth can you can you do with them um get send them to work you know get them, <laughs> yes. get send them, them to there work with this running them through the machines so yeah. all the bits and pieces are cut out for you <clears throat> i'm a great one for us, us thinking that children should be working Exactly all right. Time, yeah. I thought when you said send them to work, I thought you meant like you enjoy all of your uh, all dyes your that you bought yourself and send them out so you can get some peace and quiet. That's a good idea. <laughs> yeah. Either way works for me. Exactly um, right. So I would I'd be going for that. Um, all I would say with this is make sure when you use it, you're making you're getting rid of cleaning your dyes. I mean, I know we should be doing that anyway, but you really do want to make sure you do that. And because we're cutting felt, <clears> and this is a felt bundle that comes with um, the the showstopper. This is quite a thick felt. It's quite rigid felt. It's a kind felt we used those cut and stitch dies before rather than the ones we've used for flowers which is sort of softer and more delicate because of those little tiny perforations I find it better to put it through my machine twice mm -hmm. um, it's up to you what you want to do but I, I want to cut through two layers of fabric at, at one time and so I run it through my Gemini twice now you can do that in a number of different ways so you can use your fabric plates um, that come uh, that you can get on the show 
Um, so we've got um, the metal fabric plates. And when we talked about them at the top of the show, um, you'll see, just put that one up. Um, you've got A and B on here. There doesn't, there's not really a massive difference between them. One is very slightly... That, oh, one, yeah, that one's a more, little bit thicker, thicker, but it's not much. It's not much between them. Um, normally, we say you use plate B and you put your your die on there with your fabric, but it doesn't really matter because it's more or less the same sort of thing anyway. Um, but these are thicker. Now, you will find that when you run your your dies through your machine, because these are multimedia dies, they're thicker than your normal paper craft dies. You will get marks on the um, on, on the on the plates. If you're going to be using the fab the plates that come with your normal machine, you will notice the marks more, more considerably. Um, it, it's fine. It doesn't change the problem with uh, change an issue of the um, product. It's just the fact that you know because they are thicker and because you're cutting through thick layers of fabric as well, mm. you will find that it marks. Um, so you can cut them with using this. You can cut them with the normal plates. And um, if you're going to be cutting them with your normal plates. You would remove those fabric plates out of the way and you use these. So you use your metal plate, your metal shim that comes with the machine. Um, you then use your frosted shim and you use your, um, you, you, you possibly could use your um, magnetic shim. It depends on the thickness of the fabric. And you obviously use your white plates as well. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to run them through the different plate combinations so you can see how they work. Um, so we were always using our white plates with these. Um, I'm going I'm to try it like this first of all. And I'm going to cut through two layers of fabric. And I'm just going to find the other die and get some low tack tape. So we want to find, we want to just get this in the right position. So I'm just going to line those up like that. Yeah. First of all, and I'm going to pop that over there. And I always, I always tape onto my plate. I think that makes so much sense. Yeah, no one else does it though. It's belt and braces, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. That's what I reckon. Love that expression. Belt and braces. I've never worn a belt and braces though. Do you, have you ever worn braces? Yes. I have a few sets of braces. I Do tend you? to wear them for posh occasions. Oh, like, well, not, not work then? I never wear braces at work. Do you? No, just a belt. Just the belt? Just the belt. Um, but braces, I said, I tend to. I don't know why. I think braces. Are, I think braces with a dicky bow always yeah, looks yeah, is a nice look true. under like a. Um, you know, if you've got like your dinner jacket. Yeah. And then later on of an evening, you take off the old jacket, don't you? But do you not wear a cummerbund? Ah, now here's the thing. I have worn cummerbunds in the past. Um, not much of a cummerbund wearing nowadays. I don't know whether that's like a. Is that a bridge an too far. Is What's a cummerbund? Um, it's like a. It's, it's like, like a. a bit how of would you describe it? Big it's like a. It's fabric. like a pleated. It's like no, that's Benedict Cumberbatch, <laughs> you two in the gallery. <laughs> what, like, like, what did you describe it as a pleated? It's like a pleated sash, I yes. suppose, that goes around your waist, yeah. But yeah. It, it, I think it makes you look quite wide because it is wide. It's like that kind of depth, isn't it? Yeah. So I think it, it, it's not slimming. No, it isn't. No. no. And I don't, I don't know. Some people might carry off a cummerbund better than I do, but it's not. Some, I, have, I do have one, yeah. but I, I, I haven't worn it for years. No. No. That's not something you need me to make for you. I don't need a cummerbund. No. A cummerbund. Cummer, 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 cummer bund. Is it cummerbund or cummerbund? Cummerbund. Where's it come from? Where's it come from? Where's it come from? Where did it originate from? Does anyone know? Let's Without know. looking it up. Yeah. Does it, anyone know? I know. I is it, it, it sounds like it was, met, it was invented by a bloke called like Bob Cummerbund, doesn't it? Do you know yeah. what I mean? Because. <laughs> it, it, it doesn't really describe what it is, does it? It doesn't. It doesn't at all. Cummerbund began in India, apparently, oh. around 1850, just before seven o'clock. <laughs> Why did I find that so funny? Because I'm hilarious. Oh, I don't it, know whether that's it. It was funny. Yeah, it, was it was used as what did you say? Dining wear Dining for British wear. military. Oh, OK. Yeah, that makes sense. Mm. But is it a, is it a Latin? Um, derivative or is it an Indian derivative? Oh, uh, cummerbund. I'd say that, we'll go with India. By the way, uh, Terry Anderson says br braces equals suspenders. Yeah. No. Yeah, in America they call them suspenders, don't they? I don't wear suspenders. <laughs> yeah, you do. No, I don't. We've all seen the pictures. What, what do you call <laughs> what those things? Yeah, they're called suspenders. Suspenders. Yeah. They're not yeah. suspend suspenders. They're a completely different thing <laughs> in the UK. They're like, whoa. <laughs> 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 yeah, that I wear, yeah. If you call them suspenders, yes, braces. Braces. Like cannon and ball. Rock on, Tommy. 
But do, do, do they not use the term belt and braces then in the US? Well, it wouldn't not. work, would it? No, it wouldn't work. It'd be belt and suspenders. Yeah. It doesn't really... Suspenders belt, yeah. Let's not talk about that anymore. No. Right. So <coughs> we've run these through the, the Gemini. And as you can see, it has cut everything, but you've just got these little perforations that are a little bit... Um, because, because the felt is um, very sort of fibrous, you just need to pop them through. So you can use your pokey tool for that or a pin... Um, or you could just give them a bit of a, a rouging, rushing like this, Roosh. Um, and then they will all pop off. So we've got one, um, we've got one colour for the inside, and then we've got another colour for the outside. I've cut a few here, um, so I'm just going to open those up and get all those little bits and pieces here. So you can see how we put those together. Um, we've got all of those beautiful and um, little holes, those little perforations, and that is going to enable us to very easily stitch everything together. And I think this is why, you know, not only is it easy for you to pop these through the machine or easy for a child to do that but actually really easy for them to stitch now i don't know if you uh, anyone else remembers but when i was young mm -hmm. I don't know if you remember when i was young but you know what i mean i don't remember when, when I was you were young, young. <laughs> you know no. when i was young i there used to be a few games that my mum gave me right educational games where you learn how to sew um, right. so you'd have things with like perforations and you'd have to stitch things together oh. um yeah my no, normally, you know, normally sort of parents buy you, you know, like a, you know, exciting game. But no, my mum would buy me games where I had to sew things oh. or put buttons onto things. Well, um, she she obviously was sort of working for a particular job for me in the future. Well, it's and made you the person training. you are today, isn't it? Exactly, exactly. So I'm just going to get rid of all of these bits and pieces around here. Okay, so you can see now I've done one piece around the outside, and then that is going to go in the middle down here. I'll get rid of those. So um, we'll move those out of the way. Make a bit of a mess. Right, now I have got some thread over here. So I've already um, pre-loaded pre my um, needles with some thread. Um, I've used my embroidery thread. Um, now, if you've no, not used embroidery thread before, she says looking for it. Where did I tidy it up to? Um, there we go. Um, now, your embroidery thread would look like this when you first get it. Um, I want to use three strands. So in here are six strands of embroidery thread. Um, three seems to be about right. Um, you could use less if you wanted to. You could use different types of thread if that's what you wanted. Um, but what you would do is you would hold on to it. You've got a little piece here, and then you just pull that like that. And you want a piece basically from the tip of your forefinger down to your elbow. You don't okay. want a piece any bigger than that. Um, we just need to snip that off. And then all I do is I just split that in um, half. Now, I know some people, if you're going to use two threads, um, they will just use one thread and just double it over, if that's what you want to do. Mm. Um, you can do it that way. So I'm just going to give this a... It's always difficult to do these little things on, on screen, isn't it? Um, right around here. I'm just going to split that piece of thread up. So you don't generally use, if you've never sewn before, you may think, oh, I'm going to use that whole piece of thread. You don't <laughs> normally. You, normally you must have good up. eyesight. I've, that's why I've had to put my glasses on. I was going to say. It's quite tricky. It's quite, it's quite challenging. There we go. There we go. Got three there. Three. Three. There you go. So we just split that up like that. And I'm just going to pull my finger through here. Like that. And that will split that piece of thread up in half. So you've got three, six strands all together. And you've got three on each side and then you've got your thread ready to use. So that's what I've done already over here. Um, now, I'm, what I'm going to do, you can use a little bit of textile glue. Um, so we've got textile glue. If you want to hold everything in place, you yep. can use, you do that. Um, but I don't think you really need to. You probably need a, a pin just to get this in the right place. Now, you don't have any perforations for this middle part of the, the um, holly. Um, you just have um, perforations on the top. <coughs> so this is where you're just going to stitch through. So we're just going to be stitching along um, we're going to do some back stitch, so through those little holes. So actually, again, it is the kind of kit, because I know we have paper crafters and we have soft crafters and we kind of have, you know, people who meet in the middle and do a bit of each, but this is quite a, a nice set to go for, isn't it? If um, maybe you just want to do a bit, you don't have to have next level skills as a soft crafter to no. get the best out and of And you don't set. need a sewing machine as well, no. which I think is one of the things lots of people are very nervous about. Yeah. And you can absolutely do this in card. Um, if that's uh -huh. what you wanted to do, you know, that, and that would make quite a nice item. You know, I'm a big fan of having everything matching. Mm. So if I was going to be making one of these, I'd probably want to make a card that matched by using some of these um, kind of items, um, by using that perforation 
Um, you know, we've got those other um, paper craft dies where we've used um, the same sort of technique, but we've got those little perforated um, holes in order for you to stitch through. Yeah. You can absolutely do that with this as well. Um, you're just going to go through those little holes. This is why this activity is a quite a good thing for the children to do um, because it's nice and simple. They just need to um, follow um, where we're going. I didn't pin that. I should have probably pinned that because it's not quite straight, but it doesn't really matter. So we're just going to stitch around here. And, then, and I think, you know, making these as like little decorations for um, people's presents for Christmas, yeah. you know, then you can use them all. Actually, you know what I would do? I'd be making these into decorations and then I would be making a card, a Christmas card, and um, that Christmas card would have that decoration um, slotted oh, into nice. it, so people would have it as a, um, as a gift, as a card. Yeah, because um, would you stitch on a bit of tree. ribbon? Yeah, yeah that's exactly what we're going to do. Yeah, that's exactly what we're going to do. So we're just stitching around, just doing back stitch, going back through that hole, and then up through to the next one. And we're just going to do that all the way around here, like that. Um, and question so. from Terry about the fabric plates. Yeah. So would I... If I wanted to use mount board, could I use the fabric plates? Would you use that then? Do you know, I, I use fabric plates for everything. Do you I, have to, I have to be honest, yeah, I mean, I really do. I don't, um, I mean, I, and I'm not entirely sure I should be saying this, um, but I find that um, they, they're really useful and I just have them there all the time. So, I, I mean, yeah, because if you're using mount, cutting mount board, that's going to make a terrible mark on your... Um, on your uh, magnetic, would you use your magnetic shim or mm. your, your clear plate? It's going to leave quite a mark. Um, I find that they're really useful for everything. Um, so I'd give it a try. I mean, if you've got them already, um, I'd, I'd just give it a try and see if it works. Um, I'm just thinking, did I? I think I probably did use them when I did mount board last. Um, and, you know, then it sort of saves everything else from getting marked, doesn't mm. it? Yeah, that's no, a good shout. Um, Rosalind says, Ben, I consider myself a multi-crafter. I do a little bit of everything. Uh, I sew, paper craft, crochet, paint, etc. Just depends on my mood. I think you've got the best of all worlds there, Rosalind, yeah. haven't you, really? You know, multi-skilled in lots of different areas. And, and that, again, is where I think, you know, a collection like this would, would um, definitely... Um, appeal to you and I, as I said I also think it's a great collection to go for if you are someone perhaps who doesn't normally tune into a softer side or you're not much of a soft crafter because the fact that these are multimedia dies uh, you can obviously use them in your, your card making cut through loads of different materials for you and you get the felt bundle too so as Becky was chatting about earlier I just think it's a great way to keep the kids entertained too you know get cut out loads of different pieces yeah get them doing the old uh, fuzzy felt from back in the day used to keep me entertained for hours can that you did. still get it do you think did you get it for your children uh, no I didn't think I did no I don't think I got it for mine either. It, it was a very I want to say it was like a very 80s thing wasn't it fuzzy yeah felt? I think it was fuzzy felts and then with, kind of like with the advent of I don't know, more exciting toys, shall we say, and video games and stuff. Maybe Fuzzy yeah, we, felt sort of disappeared. We had a sad life, didn't we, Ben? We, no, did, we are, we did. Yeah. We did. We did. No, I, I, I think maybe, um, so I'm going on holiday soon. Um, not long now. Where are you going? It's Fiorca, where I always go. Um, but I did think, oh, maybe I should have, um, we, sh we should take a few sort of um, toys and things. Not toys. Games, activities. Games. Yeah. You know, my kids are old. I mean, they're, they're, the idea of an activity is you know, sleeping off their hangover by the pool. <laughs> um, but I did think, oh, maybe, maybe some fuzzy felts. Maybe we'd have a bit of fun with fuzzy felts. We, if you involve well, some kind of drinking game, maybe. I don't know. Well, I, well why, yeah, why, why not drink responsibly and craft responsibly? Absolutely. Um, our Rachel says, apparently, yeah. she says, fuzzy felt was developed during the war, wasn't it, as a way of using offcuts? <laughs> We're not that old. Yeah. How very dare you? Why are you asking us as if we know, Rachel? Did you not get fuzzy felts as part of your your um, what's the your ration book? <laughs> Did you? <gasps> ben, oh, Ruth. Uh, oh my oh, goodness! What's uh, going on outside? Is there? A, a, I can hear there's, noises. There's a uh, there's a, a pack of dogs. There's uh, a pack of dogs okay. have arrived. Uh, so we're getting ready in about five minutes time for fun time Friday fun time Fridays uh, I'm looking forward to this all right I'm, I'm not far off um, finishing off this one actually now I'm going to use another piece to go around the outside this is going to form the the back of the um, the holly so we're going to we haven't we probably not have time to do the holly berries but they're done in exactly the same way so we've got little holes in the holly berries and we would um, perforate uh, little perforations uh, to take out so you can see it's not taking too long um, to take all those perforations out but if you had a 
um, you know, active, it's the kind of thing you might want to do when you're watching a bit of TV after you've cut everything out. Um, so what we're going to do here, I'm just going to make sure I've lined it up the right way. So that one's going to go there. You can see then it just got all the holes then work through. Mm -hmm. But we need a little bit of ribbon. Um, so we want to put a bit of ribbon on to hang it up. So I've got some ribbon here. We've got ribbon on the show as well if you need it. Uh, we Violet do. We've Studios. Got some Christmassy ribbons, haven't we? We have. Yeah. Violet Studios Christmas Christmassy ribbon. Uh, th that's not the exact name of it. Uh, is it sold out? Oh no, it's got. Oh, don't scream and shout! But the Violet Studio Christmassy ribbon oh, sold no. out. We'll have more ribbon on the website, I'm sure, if you search for it. Or you know, if you you've had some of the um, uh, boxes, you know, they often have little bits of ribbon in them, don't they? Um, some of those cross yeah. boxes. Right, we're going to put a little bit of glue on here, like that, and then I'm going to pop that down there. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue over the top just to secure it in place, but we're actually going to stitch it together anyway, um, so it should hold nicely, because um, this will take a little bit of time for it to just go off, this glue. So I'm going to pop that over the top, make sure that's in the right, right one in the right place, like that. Marion says, okay. is the felt wool felt or synthetic it's synthetic felt yes um so just be a bit careful when you're ironing it okay. um but it um it actually works really well i mean nothing to stop you from using expensive you know felt mm. um, you might, might have a little bit of um, beautiful um sort of tweed kind of um, felt fabric and you can use this for other fabrics as well so if you've got some nice christmas fabrics yeah um you can absolutely use it for that um, we've got some Christmas fabrics on the show today, haven't we? We do have some lovely Christmas we've fabrics on the show. We've got some amazing. I was really excited to see those. Limited um, stock on all of them, though. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Um, Fuzzy Felt, just to get back on this, Rachel yeah. says, uh, Fuzzy Felt was invented by Lois Allen oh. in, uh, during World War II. Although similar products had existed pre-war, I wanted it to be invented by someone called, I don't know, Fuzzy. Fiona Fuzzy or something. <laughs> but uh, anyway, she says she was inspired to create the toy after observing how much enjoyment children had taking the discarded and misshaped pieces of felt from making components of tank gaskets and oh. sticking them to the backs of table mats. Oh, so that's there you are. interesting. That is interesting. Yeah. Thank you, Rachel. We, we are, we're an educational program, aren't we? Absolutely. Yes, always educational, even on the things you don't expect to be educated <laughs> on. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so you can see I'm just stitching around here to create that little um, piece there, but you can see how that's working. Now, as always, there is one I made earlier. Aha! So you can see here how that would look um, as your little decoration. So you've got your little bits of um, red um, berries on there and you can stitch them around. And obviously, I would go to town, I would use some of my glitter threads if I happen to have any of those. Um, I'd be using all sorts of different things to decorate this. I mean, actually, I think this would be really nice in white with um, a little bit of sort of sparkle on there if you've got some sparkle and um, felt as well. Um, so really, really lovely. And you can make so many of these. I mean, they, they are a, a beautiful item to mm. make. But I think, you know, having those, um, making a, a Christmas card and attaching it to that and then giving that as a gift um, makes a really nice item. And of course, you can make and sell. So if you wanted to to make some of these um, for a Christmas fair and that kind of thing, you can absolutely do that too. Brilliant. It's a lovely collection and I think for a lot of people, you'll probably just go for the uh, cut and stitch complete collection. So you'll get all of the dies to create your um, holly and ivy, your Christmas lights, your snowman, your reindeer and your father Christmas. And then you'll also get your festive felt bundle. It works out if you go for this collection that you get the felt for free within the bundle. So it's £31.97 if you're platinum, uh, $41.44 if you're shopping in the US. And like I've said, there's loads of other options on the website for you as well uh, when it comes to showstoppers and smaller bundles and just the plates on their own and just the uh, accessories on the own. Do hit the shop the day button. You'll see all of the deals there. Right, we're getting ready to reset. It's fun time Friday coming up in just a second. This could be fun or it could be absolute carnage. The dogs are coming in. Uh, Clemmy, Mac and Molly, we'll see you in about four minutes time. <laughs> Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafter's companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% off your first order. 
will also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course the Club Inspire community group on Facebook where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration and of course you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend and the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Here at Crafters TV, it couldn't be easier to get your hands on the latest crafty must-haves. Leave the hard work to us while you shop from the comfort of your own living room. Head to the Crafters Companion website to see our full crafty range, or hit the Shop the Day button to see all the new and exciting products featuring on Crafters TV. Once you've filled your cart, leave it to us to get your crafty goodies to you in super quick time so you can get on with being creative. Crafter's Companion, making crafty shopping a breeze. We get to know people from places and walks of life that we wouldn't come across in our everyday life if it wasn't for um, Crafters TV and doing what we do. I got so many lovely comments from people when I started doing the presenting and it was just really such a lovely um, feeling and it's nice that people keep messaging in, you know, we see the same, same people and we know you can build up that kind of relationship with those people so it's just the fact that people like what we do and they're pleased and I do love it when people send us photographs of the items they've made. We talk about customers but really the going as a customer come out as a friend. The support that I get is amazing. The messages I get are amazing. Me personally, it is personal interaction. I've never had the best of health. I've always been open about that uh, with our viewers at Crafters TV. So many people are in the same situation as me health-wise. Other people have got a completely different health issues. They understand and they relate to what I'm going through, what others are going through. So whether we interact on a crafting basis or whether we interact on a health basis, a personal basis, we're all there to support one another. It is incredible. The reaction of viewers when they come to meet us is worth all of the, the early mornings when we have to get up for our early morning shows. Some of the customers come on as craft ambassadors and things like that, craft along with us and being able to actually chat with them on air. I love it, I really love that connection with them. We've had lots of uh, shows where we've done like um, craft alongs especially, where we've had viewers craft along with us. We had a particular viewer, Joy, who joined us once before and she literally made me cry on air and Jo uh, because the things she said about us it really was quite humbling that there are people out there that watch us and and invite us into their living rooms and really treat us like family Hello everybody and welcome back to Crafters TV. My name's Mac, yes, and it's a lovely, lovely day to be here on Bring Your Dog to Work Day. <laughs> that was just that was me because I have voices for the for the dogs, don't I, of course. Uh, I tell you what, we've got <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I've got a voice as well. I know anyway. Uh, we, I tell you what, we've had a good start to the uh, to the Bring Your Dog to Work Day. The dogs have met. Uh, I think I think things have gone okay so far. Craig, you obviously you were obviously out there when the dogs met. Did it go did it go well? Yeah, they just had a little introduction to each other. And yeah, had a little sniff and a little play and. Wondered who each other were and where they were. And a bit like the VTs when we have them, we you know, say where, where we're from. And we we you know. sniff each other and that, yeah. Where are you from? <laughs> that one. Oh no, they didn't do that. VT, no, they did. They, they didn't do that. Yeah, do yeah that. maybe just <laughs> the, the reason Max. It, so, so you, who have you got over there, Craig? So I've got Clemmy. Yeah. Yep. So this is Clemmy. So she was two in April. She's at Pointer Door. 
a lot. A what a door? Pointer door. Okay. Not a matter door. No, not a matter door yeah. or a Griffin door. <laughs> <laughs> or a garage door. Or a garage door. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, so she's she was two in April. So this is uh, the family dog. Yeah. She stays with my my mum and, and stepdad John, and they've been here for a few days visiting. And I thought perfect. Yeah. Perfect opportunity to bring her in. Yeah. Today. Oh, she's so well behaved because yeah, you've been in since about 10 o'clock, haven't you? I've been, I came in about 10 o'clock yeah. just so she got familiar and because I know the guys and not want to see her uh, beforehand. And um, she's been absolutely fine, yeah. We've been sitting in the green room watching you guys. Excellent. And she's been laying on the couch and everything. She's having a field day. Yeah. She's so super cute. Now we we've had to um, we've had to sort of separate the two up just a little bit because you've got um, Mac is well these two are both mine. So this is Mac. He's uh, he's he's nearly eleven now actually, um, and he's just like the most chilled. sort of chilled out, mm -hmm. docile uh, dog. Was he was he quite nice when he met Kami then? Oh yeah, oh yeah, he was yeah. he was just up and we were just uh, having a wee sniff at each other and just looking at each other and yeah they were absolutely fine. Yeah, good. Um, I put you in charge of Max. I knew it'd be easy to yeah. look after. Yeah. 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 And Craig. And, and Craig would be easy Craig. to And me. To Which is always after. a challenge. Not always. Sit! Did you see Chloe there? <laughs> Stay. <And> Stay. <laughs> give Paul. Oh, you want to give Paul. Give Paul. Give Paul. He's like, we haven't got any treats, so I'm not going to do it. Mackie, give Paul. Paul. Mac, you're showing me up, dude. Give Paul. <laughs> Paul? Mac! Never work with children or animals. That is unbelievable. <laughs> and then just to show you over here is Molly. So Molly is our uh, latest addition to the family. She's 11 months and she's, she's like more of a typical collie. Yeah. I said that she just, like, she just wants to round everything up. Yeah. So hence, did, was, was she okay when she met Clemmy? Molly? Uh, they were a bit wary of each other. Yeah. At first. Was it, I bet it was more her though, wasn't uh, it, it? Yeah. No, no offence though, but, it, but yeah. Yeah. She just wants to play. It's all she wants to do. Yeah. You, you do, do it. Ah, oh, thank you. Look at the triple in slavers. Yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> Check out the triple coming out of her mouth. The boss is watching. We'll clean, we'll clean the rock. Is that <laughs> you or her? <laughs> <laughs> she did drink a lot of water just before. Whoa. And, and most of that's poured back out. <laughs> Welcome to Avalon. <Yeah. laughs> have you got any, have you got any spare treats? Yeah. I just want to see if I can get them to give... Are you hungry? Give, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. I just want to see if I can get them to give... And poo bags, of course. Poo bags. <laughs> like Does she do any thing. tricks, Clemmy? Um, oh. Just kind of like the basics. Yeah. Oh, thanks. What, the basics? Like sit, stay, paw, down. Roll over. Okay. Mm. Wait, I haven't Mackie. got anything, I'm afraid. Mo Molly, you come here. Come here. Mo Molly, <laughs> wait, ready? Wait. No, face the camera. Showbiz. No, no, get down. Get down. Molly, sit. Molly, pour. Yeah, there you go. Look, <laughs> pour. You have that one. <laughs> Mac, pour. Yes. Mackie. Mackie, woof. <laughs> yes, good boy. Look at that. Just, there we go. You've got a dog as well, though, haven't you? I have got you? a dog. Yeah, I didn't bring him in today. But he can. I can balance a sausage on his nose, and he just sits there like that. And then he flicks it up, and he catches it. Is that actually is that yeah, true? Yeah, you can actually do that. Yeah, yeah. The one dog we could have had in <laughs> doing checks. something good. Yeah, he can do that. What? So if you? If I balance, I can I can hold his face there. Yeah. And I, I'm pretending I'm the dog, and I balance a sausage on his nose, and he'll just sit there, and then he'll flick it up in the air and catch it in his mouth. What? Could you literally leave the sausage on his nose and then just walk away? Well, I, for, for, for a matter of a couple of seconds, yeah, but I couldn't do much more than that. Yeah. But yeah, I could do that. What yeah. sort of dog is it? He's a Staffy, Staffy Cross. Oh. Yeah. So he looks, he looks sort of quite um, mean. Yeah. I suppose when we walk down the street, you know. But is he soft? Oh yeah, pathetic. Yeah. I'm absolutely pathetic. The best dog ever. Oh. As far as I'm concerned. And that's obviously. Well, you, I mean, I love you. I love you all. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, look at Clemmy. Clemmy's happy. I thought yeah. I was the best dog. And, you know, you're, you're very special too. So, oh, yeah. you are. You are. Molly, come <laughs> here. She's desperate to round Clemmy up. I think. Come here. And uh, um, obviously, with like the job that <laughs> the job that you do, it's really difficult to have your own dog, isn't it? Oh, so, I, would I, you ever think about it though? I, I would. I would love my own dog. I really, really would. But it can be long days in here, obviously, on the road to, yeah. to Hobby Maker and, or anywhere like that. It, it, would, it wouldn't be fair. And I know I'm only like 15 minutes down the road. Yeah. I wouldn't want to go in with the hours break, go in, let them out. They get excited and it's like, I'll see you later. Yeah. yeah. So one day, one day, I'll, uh, I would like to get a dog, just not at the moment. 
She's so lovely, Clemmie. I don't think I've seen um, I don't think I've ever seen a, a pointer door before. She's so cute. She's got such a lovely cute. little face. You've got, you've got your lady beard. Lady beard. <laughs> don't you? And soft ears. Yeah. Lovely eyes. And she's generally very well behaved. Oh gosh, yeah. 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 She's completely taken over my house because this is the first time that she's visited down here. Yeah. You know, my mum and stepdad's been, but she's never been. So Does she understand what everyone says well, without a Scottish accent? Or no, it? that kind of yes. Yeah, it's, it's about um, that Georgie twang. She doesn't quite understand it. Doesn't understand it. Yeah. But yes, you know, she's taken over my couch, she's taken over the landing upstairs, yep. she's even taken over my whole garden, my favourite QVC egg chair out in the garden. Oh, yeah, yep. I saw the picture yeah. of that on yeah. Instagram. Yep, that's yeah. gone now, yeah. Loves the shade in the garden. Oh, <laughs> oh hello, hello, hello. hello. Uh, Max, like, hang on a minute, what, I thought you were... Oh, sorry. There you go, oh, sorry. Person, me. Uh, you guys have sent in some pictures as well. Thank you for this, so we can have a quick look at some of your dog Telfies. Um, so these are going to come up. I'll tell you a quick story about this one in just a second, <laughs> because he's like the best dog ever, and she's a bit of a, a, a bit of a live wire. Ah, oh, what kind that. of a dog is that? That's a really pretty dog, isn't it? That is, that is, a, that is a pretty dog. Uh, any ideas what it might be? It's a what? A Suki, a su oh, sorry, my, uh, my wife Laura is behind the cameras, uh, expert dog walker. It's what? Oh, a Saluki. Not Suvlaki. Suvlaki. And that's Betty and Kat now. <laughs> I, rec I recognise Bailey. Uh, I think that's kind of a normal pose for Bailey, actually. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I love just, that. just been to the doggy spa. That's what we were looking <laughs> oh, for, Terry, hey. in Ohio. A uh, bit of a doggy selfie there with uh, Terry and Bailey. Super cute. Feel free to send in more of your pictures as well, uh, by the way, because we'd love to see your dogs as we head through the day today. Um, <laughs> massive thank you to all of the dogs for coming in. I'll What's tell you. Doing a bow. Bow, uh, bow. Take a bow. Like this. Look at that. Little face. Like that. Like that. Oh, she's like, do I have to go now? <laughs> Say, Mum, I'm on TV. Wave, wave your paw. What one, one, Charlotte? Number three. Number yeah. three. Oh, look, there. Say, Mum. Wait, <laughs> that one, that one that you do every day. There we go. Yeah, wave, wave. She's not going to. Uh, Matt, thank you. And uh, Molly, thank you so much yeah, for, well being, for being so behaved. So behaved. Right. We yeah. would all be lovely. We're, yeah. They're much better behaved than we are. I know, absolutely right. I can't believe you. I thought you were going to terrorise the place, but fair play. Fair play. Uh, thanks, everybody. For uh, We'll read some of your messages out in just a second. Keep the pictures coming in, though, because we'll share your doggy pictures as we head through the day today. Uh, but we're going to take a short break, um, a wee break. I mean, not us. Oh. Probably these guys <laughs> need to go and you do she that. probably will. Yeah, yeah. And Craig needs to clean up his dribble and stuff like that. Uh, we'll, we'll be back in about three or four minutes. Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's home for all things craft. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products with live tutorials and demonstrations. Join our family of craft experts where fun happens every day. Are we in trouble or are we all right? <laughs> yeah. Should be, should be coming in. in. Should be coming in. <laughs> what does she do? Exactly what she do? Looks. <laughs> this is awesome. This is awesome! Get creative and craft along. With our amazing deals, your next craft project is just a click away. Tune in live seven days a week, or you can watch us on Catch Up at crafterscompanion.com, Facebook, or our YouTube channels. You can chat to us, craft along, and meet new friends by joining our online crafting community. And I want you every day. And it's just what really gets you through when you're really at rock bottom. There's a show for every type of crafter, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. Crafters TV, create every day. If you love Crafters TV, we've made it easy for you to watch us wherever you are. Whether you catch us on your tablet or take us with you on your mobile phone, it's easy to watch us anywhere. From here to here. Maybe don't watch us here. It would be easy to watch us here. Probably the easiest place to watch us is here. Crafters TV, with you wherever you are.
We get to know people from places and walks of life that we wouldn't come across in our everyday life if it wasn't for um, Crafters TV and doing what we do. I got so many lovely comments from people when I started doing the presenting and it was just really such a lovely um, feeling and it's nice that people keep messaging in, you know, we see the same, same people and we know you can build up that kind of relationship with those people so it's just the fact that people like what we do and they're pleased and I do love it when people send us photographs of the items that they've made. We talk about customers but really they go in as a customer, come out as a friend. The support that I get is amazing. The messages I get are amazing. Me personally, it is personal interaction. I've never had the best of health. I've always been open about that uh, with our viewers at Crafters TV. So many people are in the same situation as me health-wise. Other people have got a completely different health issues. They understand and they relate to what I'm going through, what others are going through. So whether we interact on a crafting basis or whether we interact on a health basis, a personal basis, we're all there to support one another. It is incredible. The reaction of viewers when they come to meet us is worth all of the, the early mornings when we have to get up for our early morning shows. Some of the customers come on as craft ambassadors and things like that, craft along with us and being able to actually chat with them on air, I love it, I really love that connection with them. We've had lots of uh, shows where we've done like um, craft alongs especially, where we've had viewers craft along with us. We had a particular viewer, Joy, who joined us once before and she literally made me cry on air and Jo uh, because the things she said about us it really was quite humbling that there are people out there that watch us and and invite us into their living rooms and really treat us like family well I can honestly say I think that 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 fun time Friday might have beaten Mosby's mallet in terms of popularity. I'm loving the doggy sister Brown adorable um, Lillian Quack says it's like Blue Peter it was yes. Yeah, thankfully nobody, you know, because didn't on Blue Peter there was a bit of a whoopsie, wasn't there? It was the elephant, wasn't it? Oh, the elephant did the whoopsie. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I'm pretty sure there was no tiger in the studio at uh, BBC. Was that Valerie Singleton in the um, um, and the elephant? I think it was, wasn't mm, it? I can't remember. I think it. I think it might have been. Yeah. Um, Lindsay said, Ben, my hubby has been a shepherd since he was 14 in the Falklands. He ran 15 dogs in one go. Trust me when I say your dog would be in his pick for an excellent working dog. Mm. Thanks, Lindsay. Thank you. Uh, amazing how much more enthusiastic everyone is when they're a treat, says Carolyn. <laughs> it's like that in life, isn't it, generally? I tend to work harder than this. Maybe we can just put this suggestion to the gallery that um, if you, there's something particular you want us to do, Give yeah. me sweets. Yeah, that's that it. Make, that would make it work. Yeah. Yeah. Who's a good boy? Yeah. That's all I need. <laughs> Who's a good boy? Give me a treat, rub my tummy. I'm yours. Uh, and Sarah says, wow, I loved all the doggies. Thank you, Ben, Laura, Craig, and Becky for sharing them with us. It's made me smile and feel so much better. Uh, I had a big day today, um, and to see these beautiful pups, it's made me feel so much better. I tell you what, they always say, don't they, that animals can make you feel better, and certainly they've done studies and whatnot, and having um, animals in the workplace yeah. can give a bit of a lift and actually make people more productive. Yeah. Mm. Well, my dog goes to work every day. Mm. He works at the, the office and there's a couple of other dogs there. So, um, you know, he does, he does quite well. I mean, I don't know whether he actually owns his keep. Um, his, um, his computer skills are a bit shoddy, but um, <laughs> other than that, you know, he's quite good at, the dog, yeah, yeah, he's quite good at making sure that when people come in, you know, they, they are the right people to come into the office, you know, they're not you know, people that are trying to steal things. So that's so it must be quite hard to type with big paws. Yeah, it is. Like yeah. His emails are probably quite bad, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, they are quite bad. Mm. He does have an Instagram account and he does keep that updated. So oh, he does? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I thought you were going to plug it then for a second. It's called the Property Insta Dog. Probably is the dog. There yeah. you go. Go and follow everyone. <laughs> uh, and Marianne Matson says, love the doggy, so sweet. I do both soft crafts and paper crafts, mixed media, love to sew by machine and hand embroider, enjoy making handbags. Um, it was such a fun. We, we could have done that for a lot, a lot, lot longer. Um, but keep sending your pictures of your pets in today, or dogs, not pets, dogs. It's dog day today. And um, we'll share them as we head through the day. Um, 
Right, let's have a look at the showstopper, Softer Side of Life showstopper. This officially launches at two o'clock this afternoon. However, you can grab it now. Um, I like this for the fact that you've got a, a little bit of everything in the showstopper today. And if you don't want to go for the showstopper, there are smaller bundles, but the showstopper does bring you the brand new launch today, which is your four sets of multimedia dies right here. You're going to receive that uh, beautiful, uh, fun reindeer. You've got Father Christmas in there, and of course, the snowman. And then you've got the bundle which contains your Christmas lights. You can also create in there uh, your holly and your ivy too and the other thing to mention of course these are multimedia so yes use these um, with your soft craft yes use them with the felt that you get in the bundle but you can use them in your paper craft as well they will cut through so many different materials for you within the showstopper bundle you are also going to get one of our magnetic die storage stands. So this is perfect, again, to have there in front of you, to have all of your dies on that you're working with. I, I just think it's great, particularly those smaller dies that can potentially get lost or get knocked off your side. Uh, you can pop them on there, you know where they are. You've got your turntable there as well, specifically for the G2. So if you've already got the Gemini 2, that's the turntable that you need. Don't buy another turntable for the Gemini 2. Don't use that on anything other than the Gemini 2, because uh, that's what it's been designed for. You've then also got your fabric plates in the 9 by six and the nine by 12 plus we give you your felt included in there as well 14 sheets of felt included in those festive colors that bundle if you if you want everything the showstopper is the way to go because uh, basically you're saving it's five pounds five dollars on what you would pay if you popped all of those in your basket individually so it's 68 pounds platinum 85 dollars 60 if you're shopping in the us in your platinum and don't forget double points on that as well with it being our summer news event you will also get your free gift today as well for because you're spending way over that 10 pound 10 dollar mark now if you don't want to go for the showstopper and you're saying well i just love the new dies actually you can get those available individually so this bundle is the four brand new sets of your um your dies so these four here plus you get your festive felt as well. So that felt is included, 44 dies, plus the festive felt bundle, which you get for free within that smaller bundle. So again, maybe you haven't got a Gemini 2 yet. Maybe you've already got the uh, magnetic stand and you've got the turntable and you think, oh, I don't I'd actually need those. Then go for the smaller one. So the Christmas collection is all the new dies plus the festive felt should be $54.95 or $68.79. Platinum price is $31.97 or $41.44 if you're shopping in the US. Now, with it being a brand new day, we've got the pick of the day for you as well, a brand new pick of the day. And this is actually relevant to what's coming up later on in Craft Vault. Debbie Fisher will be popping in. Debbie and I will be in the Craft Vault. Vault, vault. Um, this, it, because echo in there. Echo. <laughs> no, we're not in there yet. Oh. oh. Uh, sorry, Garden Party is one of the many Sarah signature collections that we're going to be bringing to you. This one is the pick of the day. It's got the 6x6 six six paper pad in there, and I've got to be honest with you, I thought that had sold out, but you get the paper pad, you get embossing folders, stencils, layering stamps, dies. You even get the, that's the little rosette die in there as well, isn't it? Uh, £16 or $20.80 for that um, full, i say full collection. It's an eight-piece selection from the collection. Should be £68 or $88. Massive saving and double points on that today for 24 hours only. Then we've got some of the Sara Signature boxes in there too. These are just crazy value for money because at the £50, $50 price tag, which you would have paid, I mean, that's amazing. But now they are nigh on half price if you're platinum, $23.99 or $28.78. I will say to you here, we have got 20 of these left. And once those 20 go, that's it. That is it. And that is a, a beautiful collection. That was my favourite thing. At Christmas, my, my grandma, my godmother used to take me to go and watch the ballet. Mm. And we'd go and see the Nutcracker. I mean, it's just such a lovely collection there, isn't it? It is a lovely collection. And it is everything that you know, love and remember uh, from the Nutcracker. All of the elements in there are fantastic. Um, and again, exclusive to that box. I think at this sort of price as well, if you've already got it, you might just be jumping back in to get more of the uh, consumable elements. But last 20 of those, and then it's gone. So please grab it. What an opportunity today. At half the price pretty much that you should be paying. We've also got the Swan Lake collection available for you too. 
Uh, and again, first come, first served on this. Once they're gone, they're gone. I can tell you we have uh, less than 15 of these remaining. Uh, people have them in their basket right now. The papers in there are absolutely exquisite because um, what you get, we might have a look at them a little bit later on in the craft vault if they're still around. You get one side which is very um, swan lakey with all of the ballet scenes and the other sides of the papers are very much more kind of um, generic but really beautiful. Uh, again, you get all the elements in there, stamps, dies and more for 23 99 or 28 78 uh, but less than 15 of those to go round those will sell out now we've also got on the show for you your Gemini 2 um, plates this fabric plate bundle is uh, a little bit different to the, to the ones we've done before because we've got the fabric plates in there. Uh, but listen, you're going to get fabric plates within the bundle, plus you're going to get your uh, white clear cut... Uh, white clear, listen to me. <laughs> they're clear cutting plates. Huh? I know what you mean. Yeah, well, they're clear cutting plates, but now they're yeah. white cutting plates. Yeah. White cutting plates, two of those, you're going to get your fabric plate, plus you'll get the storage bag, and you'll get the turntable in there as well. So again... A nice bundle to go for, perhaps if you haven't yet got your Gemini, uh, sorry, if you have got your Gemini 2 but haven't got the turntable and you need to pick up extra plates and you want the fabric plate, £53.24 there or $68.33 and then we do the same again in the 9x6. Um, and here's the details for that, £37.40 or $48.17, two of your white plates, cutting plates, uh, one of your fabric plates, your bag and um, a turntable in there too, $37.40 or $48.17 if you're a platinum, platinum member. If you just want the accessories on their own, we've now got a bundle. I know we've sold previously the turntable on its own and the magnetic stand on its own, but you can now get them bundled together uh, 15 28 or 17.94 platinum price 12 pounds 22 or 14 dollars 35 um lynn says ben can we see what's in the nutcracker box i, I tell you what i will show you later on if i get chance in this show i will but definitely later in the craft vault um it, it just isn't it's worth grabbing for the price today we've only got 20 left um hi from florida says karen loving the show with the cute doggies all my dogs are enjoying watching the show also and those pups says teresa with the cutest looks like a fun day happy craig stopped by too they've all they've all gone now haven't they yeah they have it's quite sad isn't it yeah quiet back quite, to normal quite sad we need we need a dog here all the time yes like blue peter had yeah yeah mm, office yeah. dog yeah mm. i think so we'll put it to the bosses yeah i know what they'll say now it was your birthday on mm, tuesday on tuesday tuesday and as part of that you yeah. popped together some deals, haven't you? I did, I did, yeah. And a lot of deals. I know, loads of deals, which is good because I think, you know, nice opportunity to choose things that I like, really. So, good. So, so all of these deals, I'll just rattle through a few here. You've basically raided the, the warehouse and you've taken a load of deals and gone, that, 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 five pounds, five dollars. Yeah, why not? Why not? So things like your um, erasable fabric markers. Yeah. We've got um, different feet for your sewing machines. You've got your um, low shank, high shank feet. Yeah. We've got things like your um, clips. What else have we got in here? Ooh, um, some of <laughs> our, ooh, shape, shape cutters. Shape cutters. Yeah, I've, I've given you all the bits I like. That's the orange peel. We've got a Dresden plate shape cutter in yep. there. What else have we got here? S uh, quilting stencils. Yep. Is it? There's two in there. That one's the, uh, that's the geometric quilting yep. sensors. Yeah. Oh, by the way, how have I never seen those before? What on oh, earth? Yeah, they're gorgeous, aren't they? Look really at those nice. scissors. They're like rainbow effect scissors. They're curved scissors. They're really nice. Look at those. They're, they're fiber. beautiful. They're really good. Really good value. Yeah. Rainbow effect. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> that, was, that was Zippy from Rainbow. <laughs> Oh, yeah, look at the scissors. Uh, then what else have we got in here? Quilting pattern, quilting pattern guides for a fiver. Yeah, I know, and that's the six and one. So loads of different shapes you can do with that. Well, so all of the different designs down here we can do? Yes, yeah, with that one kind of um, guide that you've got there. That is incredible. And there's, there's loads of these. Listen, there's too many for me to list. If I just keep talking, just show you a few of the things that you're going to be uh, getting your hands on. Um, rotating court and pattern guides in here. Everything I'm showing you here, individually, five pounds, five dollars, uh, four pounds, four dollars if you're platinum. If you go to the website, everything that I'm showing you here is listed. Uh, it is just honestly 
one of those things that you need to get on and fill your baskets with because I can't believe that you've picked, picked up this many deals. I know. They're not going to let me go over there next time, are they? No, they're not. <laughs> I, feel, I, I feel like you were sort of going wild in the aisles, a bit sort of uh, supermarket sweet style and just going whoop, 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 but do whoop. Know, do you know what I did? I said, oh, there's, um, there's free cupcake over there. And they all went rushing over there. And then I just went and did my thing in the, in the warehouse. The distraction there. technique. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's I like what you need it. to do. Clever. Now, um, all of those deals are there on the website for you, and you're actually going to be using one of your five pound, five dollar deals right now, aren't you? Yeah, I am. Apple cores. Apple cores. Yep. Okay. So they, these are your multimedia dies. So again, um, as we've said before, multimedia dies are um, copper coloured. They are thicker um, dies. They're not going to hurt you when you put them, you know, press against them, but they are going to cut multiple layers of fabric. So we're going to be able to cut, we're going to go for eight layers of fabric at the moment on here. Um, so you've got four different sizes with these um, shapes. Now these shapes, I would not have been able to cut by hand. No. Because there's too many curves. I mean, there's, every single side is cur curved. It's really really tricky um, so this is what I'm going to be using to, for today um, I'm going to use my fabric plates now um, when we when I cut the dies earlier on I didn't use my fabric plates I used the plates that came with the machine and um, so you can see I wanted to show you the difference so you can see you have got these marks on here and that's fine it carries on working absolutely fine but this is much easier um, metal um, for cutting through um, these ones the fabric plates much much thicker you're not going to get you, know, you, you are going to mark these over time but they are going to be significantly um, harder to mark mm. um, so I'm going to cut this using these um, plates here so I've got eight layers of fabric all lined up here and I've got my die I'm going to place my die facing down I'm going to use some of my low tack tape to pop this in place there we go Put that on there Belt and braces. Belt and braces, always. Belt and suspenders. <laughs> I'm never going to forget that. No. It's like bum bags and fanny packs, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that, 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 that always confuses me. Yeah, me too. Right, so we've got our clear, well, clear plate, white plate. Um, we've then got well, our metal uh, fabric plate. We've got our fabric with the die facing down, other fabric plate over the top. Then we've got the white plate over the top of that. We're going to offer that into the machine. I do love the turntable situation. That makes a massive difference having that on the Gemini, doesn't it? I, I, I love that. I just think it's brilliant, isn't it? Yeah. For easy access. And the... Um, the stand. Well, the stand, but also, what's the word? Ben's forgotten his words again. The... The folding the, bows. The, the... What do you call them? Wings. The wings. <laughs> So your plate's falling off. Yeah, exactly. That makes a big difference. But I really like that magnetic stand. I'm quite tempted to have one of those because I'm always losing my die. Yeah. Um, especially good for the little it. small ones, isn't yes. it? So imagine you put one down, especially if you're cutting a lot with fabric and stuff as well. Yeah. One can get maybe missed out or mixed up under the fabric and then accidentally goes in the bin. Um, what those, those, we've got some dies where they're teeny tiny letters, haven't we? Oh, numbers. Yeah. They would be really difficult to, no, well, really easy to lose. Yeah. I think they're a really great item. Right, there you go. Eight layers of fabric. Oh, nice. And you can see I've got a slight mark here on those fabric plates, but nothing in comparison to the others. So this is why your fabric plates are absolutely invaluable for you if you're going to be cutting multiple layers of fabric um, with our multimedia dies. So we've got those there. Now, apple cores are a little trickier to sew than perhaps another shape. So I've got them in two different colours. I've got some cream and I've got some white here. And what we want to do first of all is we want to find basically what we're going to do is we're going to put these together like this so we're going to have them like that and then another one over here so that's the kind of pattern we're going to be making uh, okay. and then the next layer next row down will be be something like that yeah but we're going to concentrate on sewing across first of all um, so what we want to do is we want to find the midpoint here so I'm going to mark that with my heat erasable pen and I want to find the midpoint on this one down here. So just again, mark it up with my heat erasable pen. There we go, like that. And we want to stitch these two pieces together. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to mark up those two centre points and then you can see you've then got to try and get that to match here. Now you can do this in two, two different ways. You can do it with um, a, a pin, and, or lots of pins and pin them together. But I like to use our textile glue because it's a lot easier. Yeah. It means that um, I can easily sort of stick everything together. 
Um, it doesn't gum up my machine when it goes through the machine. Um, I just think that for cuss sewing curves, this is invaluable. Mm. So I'm just going to pop a little bit of glue, a really small bit of glue because nothing's coming out, a <laughs> tiny bit of glue. It's right here. I know, down here, like that, right down to that point. And I'm only doing halfway at a time. So I'm going to line up that to two those two centre points there, like that. And then I'm going to add... I join this point here with that point there, mm -hmm. like that, and then we're just going to ease those other pieces together, like that. So is that glue semi-permanent then? Yeah. So this will um, this will wash away right. um, when you put it through the machine, mm. but it will hold everything together um, initially. So. Um, you don't need to worry about um, pins, and I find pin, pinning really tricky. So again, we're going to do this, that other half. So I'm joining this point here with that point there, like that. Just press that together, and then I'm just going to ease those two pieces together, like that. So I'm joining up those other raw edges. Uh -huh. So then we've got that little curve. So now, when I run it through the sewing machine. Oh, I'm almost out of thread on this sewing machine. Oh. Almost. You've got enough to get through. I might do. Let's have a look. Does Becky have enough thread? Stay tuned to find out. Thanks to Debbie, by the way, who's just messaged saying, I love the magnetic stands. I've ordered a few. Lol. How many is a few? I love the fact you put lol at the end as well, which makes me think a few is a lot. Uh, I think a few is a good idea. You, I think you need more than three. Don't you? Well, I, I like the fact that they fold flat as well. So I, in my little mind, I think that you could almost buy, yes, a few of these and have various collections just stored on them, fold them flat and then stick them on your shelves or in yeah. a box and then just pull them out and then, you know, put them up when you need to use them. Exactly. There we go. We've done that, that first curve. So you can see how that's been stitched there. Um, so we're going to do another one over here. So again, we're going to fold over a mark there. The mark here. And then fold this piece in half, like that. And then we're going to put these two pieces together again. So a little bit of um, glue. So you can do it this way. Um, um, it, I did it the opposite way before. So a little bit of glue around the half, halfway. Mm -hmm. And that goes there. And then this point here. Um, I, I think you're right with those little um, uh, mag magnetic uh, stands. Um, just really handy for when you're organising, you know, you're going to be making something, you know, batch making. Yeah. That's really, really useful. I definitely need those. I know I need those. My husband would argue I don't need any more. Nah. But that's just, he just doesn't understand. No. I think there was something that someone had put, posted up saying, I hope I don't die before my husband because he might sell my crafty stash for what he thinks I've actually paid for it. <laughs> that, is, that is quite funny. <laughs> I don't think, uh, if you don't craft, you don't realise how many things you actually need. That's it. And um, actually, you know, what pleasure you get from having those items. Uh, that's brilliant. I managed to get out of Debbie. You know, Debbie says she ordered a few magnetic stands. Yeah. Seven. Seven? Yes. That is impressive. That is good. Seven. A question from Rhonda. Yeah. Would two sets of the fabric cutting plates fit on the 12 by 18 plates for the Pro? I don't know if you could use it in that way, could you? I wouldn't necessarily oh, recommend that. I don't know. That. Yeah, I don't um, know. I mean, I, I, I assume they would fit because yeah. of... But um, I don't know. I wouldn't like to say, actually, because no. it's not been... You may find that as it goes over that first plate, it's it might slip, slip mm. a little bit. Um, I'd be inclined to say probably not. And on the front of um, a Crafters TV pet, Terry says, could you imagine a Crafters TV cat? Uh, it would be on the counter, just knocking off all of the goodies. A bit like me, really. Do you think that would be the... the I think we should have a, um, a parrot. A Crafters TV a parrot? Yeah, yeah. So mm. we can teach it things like... Fun. That song. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, and... And, and, and you know, maybe, maybe on day, it'll be able to, we could teach it different words. Uh, different words like what? Like doo-doo? <laughs> oh, like doo-doo. Doo -doo. I see what you mean, Dean. Sorry. Oh, now I've said it. <clears throat> I think a parrot may be a, a, a bad idea. Do you think? 
think? Yeah, I because don't it, think so. it may become so good that it picks up all of the words and the phrases uh, that, you know, then some people uh, might not be needed well, anymore. <laughs> well, yeah, that, that, could be, that could be a worry, couldn't it? But, um, it takes our jobs. Where it takes our jobs. There we go. So we've, we've done a few here. So you can see how they come together. So when we would put them together to create an item like that, we would then stitch these together. Now, when you want to stitch these together, you want to stitch one section at a time. So you would stitch from here across that piece, and then you stop, and then you take it off, and then do this piece again. So you treat it rather than trying to do it in lines because you've got these curves, you do it that way. But you can see that is a really easy way of creating um, these kind of really cool apple core designs. And they're, they're a different, difficult thing to cut manually, but being able to cut multiple layers of fabric in one go. I mean, I cut eight layers of fabric in one go, so you could do a whole thing for a cushion in next to no time. Yeah. Absolutely brilliant. And again, th these are the kind of tools that you can pick up today for just £5 or $5, £4 or $4 if you're platinum. I would recommend for ease's sake that you go to the website you'll find all of the deals there like we've said there's um different feet for your sewing machine there's heat erasable pens in the deal there's some of the quilting clips there's i mean tons and tons of these quilting pattern guides there are the um, stencils in there too as i say too, far too much to kind of go through here best thing that you can do is get these um on the website see what you want to get and know that you're only going to pay five pounds five dollars if you're platinum four pounds four dollars i mean for goodness sake what a chance and an opportunity for you to stock up on all of your soft craft essentials today. Um, and worth bearing in mind, I don't know if I mentioned it at the top of the show, this is the last Friday softer side of life. Um, you want to mark your calendars. It's going to be back on Saturday the 8th of July. And then following that, there'll be two soft craft shows every second Saturday of the month. So if you are a soft crafter, uh, that is definitely the thing to put in your diary. So back Saturday the 8th, uh, and then following that every second Saturday of the month, two soft craft shows um, that you can enjoy. Mark it in your calendar. Uh, we're going to come back and look at the showstopper in just a second, but it is bring your dog to work day. So we're going to look at some dogs. Oh, look at Linda's dog. That's Bella. What? I'm so rubbish at dogs. Is that a Cava Bichon? Bichon Freeze. Bichon Freeze, is it? That one really reminds me of um, that kind of salad. What salad? A, a fish on freeze always makes me think of salad. Does it? Yeah, because isn't there, a, isn't there a, um, a salad leaf that sounds a little bit like oh, that? Oh, I don't know. Probably. <laughs> but apparently, I don't know why I talk about beef on freeze because in the gallery they're just going, Shih Tzu. Shih tzu. Okay. That's a Shih Tzu. Uh, <laughs> lovely Bella. Uh, oh, Debbie's dog. Roo. It's, uh, that's a. Uh, her grand fur baby, <laughs> Rue. I've never seen a pic of Rue. Has Rue got a jumper on? It's Rue a, um, it's like a, a little... greyhound kind of, or a lurcher. That Rue is so cute. <laughs> Dean's just, <laughs> Dean's just gone. Rue looks a bit like Dobby. Uh, <laughs> Dobby the house elf, do you mean? Yeah, okay, good. Uh, oh, now this is what we're after. Karen, yes, who's that watching the TV? Oh, no name of the doggo, but that is super cute. Uh, look at Chloe looking at Craig in that picture on the screen. That <laughs> is brilliant. Great pick, Karen. We love that so much. Oh, it's a lassie dog. A lassie dog, Joanne and Diesel. Look at Diesel. I mean, Jo... Vin. Oh. Huh? Vin Diesel. <laughs> yeah, Vin. Vin Diesel. That's not his real name, you know, I found out the other day. Is Couldn't believe not? it. No. Really? I think he's called, like... Brian. Yeah, or John or something. Um, she's, a, she's a whippet, by the way. Rue's a whippet, oh, says okay. Debbie Robinson. Uh, oh, Mark Sinclair is Vin Diesel's real name. Um, thank you, everybody, for all the lovely comments coming through. Syl says, one of our consultants has a parrot. It's hilarious in online meetings. His favourite impressions are a police siren and a <laughs> ringing phone. <laughs> That must be brilliant during important meetings. All of a sudden, you just hear oh, the I police siren or the phone rings. Um, Rhonda says, I believe I have almost every single one of the pattern guides. Well, let us know if there's one that you haven't. And if you haven't got it, chances are you'll be able to pick it up for a fiver today. And Sensational Sky says, I don't know whether this could be a thing potentially for the future, Becky. I, I think we've sort of, 
hinted at this potentially and it's not us that makes these decisions but we'll, we'll, we'll ask it and put it to the powers that be yeah. uh, Becky please could you teach us one day how to use a sewing machine I'm absolutely useless says Sensational Sky I either break the needle or get the material stuck in the machine do you know what I, I was similar to you actually I had a machine well I still got a machine it's in the garage now I used it for a bit and I think the frustration of things going wrong led me to stop doing it yeah um, can I can I explain what I'm going to be doing I know you've touched on it can I explain so um, as Ben said we're going to be going for one show every second Saturday of the month but it's going to be two shows so there's going to be a show in the morning and then there's going to be a launch show and then I'm going to do paper craft in the evening so you're just oh, going to, nice. this is going to be loss of me but in the intervening weeks I'm going to be doing Facebook lives and so we're going to start a project um, with, a, with a craft along and we can continue that over a couple of weeks depending on the project now some projects obviously are going to take a little bit longer to do with paper craft it's quite quick to do well quick in comparison to soft craft um, but there will be some times when um, I, I'm not doing a, a Facebook live with a craft no, continue with the craft along and yes absolutely I'm very happy to do a whole kind of like starting using a sewing machine kind of thing if you've got any ideas about the kind of things you'd like to see on these Facebook lives, let me know. Um, so we're doing, I'll be doing them from home. Um, they'll be every week. Um, and as I say, we'll sort of build on the, the, the craft along that we do in the previous week, uh, depending on what, what we're actually going to be doing on that, that particular day. Um, and then sort of make it, you know, make it more of a kind of sort of exploring sewing kind of um, idea, I think. I've seen your setup. I know, I'm quite excited. I mean, John has created this whole little mini studio for me and he's coming down to um, put it into a room which I haven't emptied yet. Um, so I've got to have to, I'm, I'm, I'm calling in the troops to, to yeah. clear up the room. Really. So you're going to be presenting, producing, and directing because you, like you, yeah. I've seen it. It's brilliant. It's got a yeah. little keyboard. I should just be able to go. Go to this right. camera. Mm, this yeah. camera. Mm. It looks really good. I'm looking forward to seeing how it all works out. So yeah, definitely very excited about that. Um, right. Looking forward to all of that. Lots of fun times to come with Becky on uh, Softer Side and paper crafting too. Eh? Mm -hmm. uh, the showstopper is uh, proving popular. Do you know what? It's a bit of a spread today across the different items that we've got on the show. And that's great. And I think what it is with the showstopper, this is a fantastic bundle to go for if you've already got your Gemini 2, but you maybe haven't yet picked up the accessories. Because what we've done in the showstopper bundle is we've bundled together kind of all of the smaller bundles that we're doing today. And then we said, right, if you get them in the showstopper, uh, not only will you get double points as part of the summer news event, but you'll save an extra fibre. So your brand new um, multimedia dies are included down the bottom here. Okay, so all of those are included, your um, cut and stitch dies. Then within the bundle, you are going to get the accessories. So the new accessories for your Gemini 2, which is the turntable. Um, the holes in the G2 are already pre-drilled, ready for you to go, so you can simply attach that. You've got everything you need to be able to do it. And then you're also going to get your magnetic die storage stand included as well. And as we've already said, how handy is that? So handy. Um, we had uh, Debbie buying seven. Then you're going to get your fabric plates in there. So you'll get your 9x12 and your 9x6 included as well. Plus, you're going to get your felt. Uh, you've got 14 sheets of felt in there in your festive colours. So that is the showstopper deal if you want to go for the whole hog. It's £68 platinum. Um, if you are shopping in the US, it was whatever it was on the screen. Now, Charlotte's a bit trigger happy today. The 8560, I, nearly, I knew it was 80 something, but I didn't want to say, thank you. Next up, the Cut and Stitch Christmas Complete Collection. So this is all of the dies, once again, all right, so you've got uh, snowman, 10 dies there. You've got your uh, festive um, embellishments, if you like, your holly and ivy, you've got your lights, you've got Father Christmas, and you've also got your uh, reindeer in there too. And then on top of that, you get the felt, and the felt in that bundle comes for free. All right, so, and uh, do you know what? As much as the showstop has been popular today, this Cut and Stitch Christmas Complete Collection has been even more popular. So um, if you want to grab yours, £31.97, $41.44. I just think it's one of those collections that's going to appeal to definitely soft crafters. I think it's going to appeal to those of you that do, do paper craft as well. Those of you that have got kids and grandkids, I think you're going to absolutely love it. So it is a collection which spans so many uh, people who want to grab it. That's why it's proving very, very popular indeed uh, lots of love for the future kind of ideas coming up with softer side uh, sarah c says i love that idea becky i cannot wait yay 
Um, yes, and quick question before we go for a break from Gareth Dobbs who says, question for Becky, I have the builder block sets, yep. so do I need the special fabric plates to use them? I would suggest that you, mm. you should, yeah. yeah. Um, you, you can absolutely use the other plates, but you will find that they, they get a real hammering using those multimedia dies. I, would, I definitely, I, I mean, they, I use them all the time, the fabric plates. I think as they're, as they're available at the moment, I would suggest that that's worth you doing them. If you're going to be planning on using a lot of those builder blocks and cutting a lot of fabric, I'd yeah. go for those. I think if you're a heavy user, yeah. The fabric plates are absolutely a, uh, a must-have, a must-go-to. Listen, let's give you an opportunity to check your baskets out because we're busy, busy, busy. Check out all of those uh, birthday deals that Becky's put on the website for you as well. £5, $5 deals, £4, $4 deals if you're platinum. Get those in your cart. Get the brand new Cut and Stitch Christmas Complete Collection and we will see you in around about three minutes time. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafters companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course, the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. tell you every single person works tirelessly uh, behind the scenes and I can't just give a shout out to one person because for me it has to be John, Tracy and Jake. I'm going to give a shout out to our backstage hero and I'm actually going to say heroes. It has got to be our product coordination team. It's got to be. Because without those three people, when we're on air, we wouldn't be able to function like we do. They make sure we have everything we need, right from um, the samples to the product to uh, having a drink of water throughout the show. They really look after us. You see us day in, day out, seven days a week, live on TV. We're crafting away. We're hopefully inspiring you. Every single card, every single product, every single tool that we touch has come from product coordination. Those guys are the unsung hero. They're there making sure we have the products, we have the inks, we have the tools, we have everything that we need. We have the power to actually work our Gemini ranges. The smooth running of behind the scenes of Crafters TV is all down to our product coordination team. Welcome back everybody. We have got uh, just less than half an hour to go on our wake up call show ahead of Softer Side of Life coming up at two, that is nine o'clock Eastern. Uh, and of course later on, uh, it's all change, well it's not all change, it's half change, Debbie Fisher will be in for the craft fault. It is Sarah's signature skewed so we're looking forward to that uh, thank you for all the positivity coming through as well about the uh, future of softer side um dawn says i love the idea of learning starting to sew on the machine whatever i did learn way back in grade school has long been forgotten so that that is uh, yeah i think a lot of people are going to love that are going to love 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 those shows and debbie says debbie you bought seven of the magnetic stands yeah she said ben i actually got one of the magnetic boards for my husband to put his drill bits on when he's working on a project that's a clever idea that is a yeah. good idea because again there's all those kind of things isn't it whether you're crafting or maybe doing diy like the small bits like the fiddly yeah. bits that tend to get lost and drill bits and nuts and bolts so that that is a great shout debbie and i love the fact that you shared one of your seven um, it just goes to show what a lovely person you are, share and share alike. The Cut and Stitch Christmas Complete Collection is the most popular bundle of the day so far, uh, where you've got your brand new Cut and Stitch dies, your cute little characters in there. You've also got your festive felt bundle as well, so that is 14 sheets of the felt. Um, it works out if you go for this bundle that you get the felt for free, 14 sheets of that. That is the platinum price, 31.97 or 41.44. Uh, and Becky, I'm gonna nick what you just did there in the break and claim it as my own. <coughs> Do you want to build a snowman? <laughs> 
You're quite frightening then. Was I? Yeah. Why? I mean, you really believed. It was, it was, like, a Rod, it was like Roger Moore was over there talking to no, me. No, but he'd have gone, oh, do you want to build a snowman? <laughs> My name's I, Bot. I, lo I loved Roger Moore. He was good, old Rog, wasn't he, he said, eh? Oh my, I've lost my charm. Not from where I'm standing, darling. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Right, um, couple of stitch dies. Um, yeah, I can't get it out of the package. <sighs> um, <laughs> when you get yours at home... What's the matter? Can you not get it out? I can't get it out. It's stuck. I can't... Ooh. Well, let me see if I can <laughs> help. Stick your hand in there and see if you can loosen it. I can't get it out. <laughs> what? That, why can't you just... It's not easy, is it? <laughs> Yay! Brute force, that's what it was. Thank you very much. I was dying to help you. Oh. <laughs> that's what Roger would have said then, wouldn't he, eh? Dying because they're... It's a, <sighs> oh, it's a joke. <laughs> Are you going to die another day? <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, at, least, at least it makes him... He was, I live, he was living that die, but it wasn't a die another day. That was, that Pierce, was Brosnan. Pierce Brosnan. That was Pierce Brosnan. <laughs> <laughs> he yeah. doesn't sound anything like that, does he? Yeah, he does. That's exactly what he sounds like. He is a great singer, though. No. Like, Mamma Mia, he was no, I'm amazing. Not having that. I'm not having that. Pierce he's Brosnan, a great singer. He's an amazing singer. Great Bond. I'm, I don't think he's a particularly um, great singer. My favourite Bond, uh, definitely Roger Moore. Yeah, me too. A shadow of a doubt. Yeah. Yeah. No, who's yeah. at number two though? Brosnan for me. Um, yeah, I, I think so. I mean, I don't, I don't mind Daniel Craig. I don't mind, mm. but um, yeah, I think I definitely. Um, the, the whole Daniel Craig thing for me was hilarious because my. Uh, Laura, when we first went to see that first movie, she was a bit like, oh, I don't know, Daniel Craig. Oh, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not too sure about Daniel Craig. You know, he like, looks like a Bond. But then as soon as he came out of the scene, his little tight yeah. shorts, she was his biggest fan. But I don't, I don't think he's very attractive. Mm. There's, no, if you look at him you know, on an individual basis, um, I don't think he's massive. But anyway, I mean, I wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't say... <laughs> <laughs> what wouldn't you say? <laughs> What would you say? I wouldn't say he's unattractive, no. but he's not—he's not my cup of tea. No. I like um, I like a Roger Moore kind. He, of yeah, guy. he's not your traditional tall, dark, and handsome, yeah. is he? That yes. Yeah. He's not your your sort of suave, your suave, um, your suave Bond. Sil says, well, at least Ben is keeping himself amused. <laughs> <laughs> it's like being at home, this. Oh dear. Oh dear. Right, we're gonna we're gonna build a snowman. So I'm just putting the different dies together um, here. So as I mentioned before, we've got these dies that have got these little perforations in them, and then we've got the outer dies as well. Um, it does make it a little bit easier. If you want to um, cut into your fabric, you can absolutely do that, no problem at all. Um, so I'm going to cut two layers of fabric here. I'm going to pop that one on there. Mm -hmm. Again, use, use your low-tack tape. You definitely need your low-tack tape when you're using these because you're putting two dies um, inside themselves. Um, just making sure they're in the right place. Would you like to be, if you could be in a Bond film, would you be a villain or would you be the hero? Would I'd you be Bond. Bond? Would you? You'd be <laughs> Bond. <laughs> you say something, you'd be the Bond girl or did you say I no, would be the Bond girl? No, you'd be the Bond girl. No. <laughs> would you be the Bond girl that, that, that gets, so, sort of um, disappears part of the way through the, the show? I, I yeah. like the, I, I don't think I'm like, I don't think I'm suave and sophisticated enough to be Bond. I think I, I could play. I think I could play a baddie quite well. Yeah. One of my favourite actual. Um, when I used to do the pantos. Here he goes. When I'm like, I would not be Johnny English, Johnny. He said, like, better be Johnny English. <laughs> I love those movies. I was saying when I did the pantos back in the day, I always used to play like the funny character of the day. But then one year I played uh, King Rat. In Dick Whittington, because yeah. obviously he's the baddie. I really enjoyed being the. I yeah. really enjoyed like summoning my dark side. You know, it was very. There's something quite good. good about being the baddie, isn't yeah. there? Yeah, because you get all the booze. Yeah. What the drink? Yes. <laughs> not not like not those kind of booze. <laughs> that kind of booze. The you know the booze. I, like, I love it when you get when you go to a panto and um, you see all the kids and they really get into it. You know, they're really yeah. sort of shouting out that. Um, you know the bad band. Yeah, they really get into it. It's easier it. to get a boo than it is to get a laugh. Is it? Because mm. the panto jokes normally are pretty corny, aren't they? Pretty, pretty old. You've heard them all before, like the ones I tell. 
To be honest, it's, they sound a lot like the kind of stuff that you say. Exactly right. That's where I get mine from, the, uh, the Panto playbook. <laughs> um, so it's, e it's easy, because as a baddie, you just walk out and they just boo you straight away. You don't yeah. have to do anything. You know, so it's quite, it is well, quite easy. I was saying, I think I said a few weeks ago, I went to see um, a pantomime that had Brian Blessed and Pamela Anderson in it. Well, for yeah, real? Honestly. I just, you I just, went to Panto just, recently? Uh, it, oh, no, it was a few years ago. Oh, I thought you said um, just a few weeks ago. No, no, I, was me I mentioned it a few weeks ago. Oh. Pamela Anderson and uh, Brian Blessed. You Born and alive! <laughs> what Panto was it? Um, God, I can't even remember. I think it was Aladdin. He must have been the emperor, uh, was he? Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, he was, he was amazing. We were sitting right at the very... Well, not... Well, a couple of rows back from the front, but in the middle. And my children were quite young. And my son was really shouting at Brian. And he was really shouting back at my son. And, you know, he's got quite a booming voice. And it's almost like you're in a wind tunnel. Because when he shouts, all your hair sort of ripples <laughs> yeah. back because he's so loud. <laughs> oh, it's great. Love really Brian, good. blessed. And obviously, all the dads love Pamela Anderson in it. Yeah? Yeah. She was just wearing a red swimming costume. No, as as she would do. Was uh, she actually? She was. Honestly, totally, 100%. That is hilarious. I'm just going to run this through the machine twice because of all those little perforations. I want to make sure they've all come through um, really well. Um, and it, obviously, it takes a, just a matter of a few seconds for it to run it through again, just to make sure that you've got all of those uh, little tiny perforations cut through. Um, Sean Connery and Roger Moore are my bond, says Betty Weaver. The rest are substitutes. Sil says, I love the Bond films with Daniel Craig, but to me, they're just great action movies. They're not Bond films. Uh, he's more a special forces action type hero, not a suave international spy. I, I, I agree with you on that one, Sil, actually. I enjoyed yeah. some of the Daniel Craigs, but not as Bond movies. No, I, I didn't enjoy them as much as... Um, didn't I enjoy did the last was. one that he was in. Oh, that made me cry. Don't take too much in case people haven't seen it. No, but it was, um, it was quite emotional, wasn't it? Uh, what? It was. Yeah, it was. It was. Yeah. Too much. It was too much. And Dawn says, Ben being the funny guy, I don't see it. <gasps> lol. <laughs> There's a lol in there. there. There's a lol there. She said that. She said that with love. <laughs> I think. <laughs> Dean's just gone, I can't see the love. Shut up, Dean. <laughs> anyway. Okay. Right. Back so to the we've snowman. Got, we've got an out apart the snowman. We have got a little hat that's going to go just there. We've got a face which is going to go here, like that. We're just going to overlap things, so it goes like that. We've also got little cheeks. Little smiley cheeks, just there. Aww. And we've got noses. Noses, a nose. Okay, so that's going to go round here. So you can see we've got all of those different pieces. Now, we, we obviously need to get some of the perforations out. Um, so on here, on the nose to get that removed. Remove, it's almost like you know those pore, pore strips that you get from no, those. What? You know those pore strips you get from your nose. Pore on pore strips. Pore strips. Yeah, those pore strips for getting rid of the pores in your nose. You know I, those little pores. I don't know what those are. Oh. I have this. I have a strip for my nose to help me breathe. Do you? But when you run. Yeah, and at night time sometimes. Do so you I've got snore? very narrow nostrils. Do you? Mm. Oh. <laughs> Not that anybody really needed to know that. <laughs> well, we did. Every, everyone needed to know that. That's fine. All right, we're going to pop that like this. We're just getting rid of all of those little holes there. And then we're going to use a um, little needle down here. Just lift those up. There we go, like that. There we go. A few little bits around there. So we just pop, pop those there. Now, what we want to do is we want to stitch these together. Yeah. So it's just a question of working out where we're going to have everything. I'm going to stitch, first of all, I'm just going to take all those pieces off. Mm. And using some black thread, I'm going to stitch his smile on, first of all. And then I'm going to um, attach everything together. So, like that. Sean Connery was the best Bond, says Rhonda on YouTube. Oh, do you think? I was never that keen on Sean Connery. <laughs> And Rhonda says, lol, Becky is picking his nose. <laughs> You're picking the snowman's nose. Was I was, I was getting all those little spots out. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry, I'm just going to have to revert to what I can hear in the gallery. Charlotte, have you never seen a Bond film? Is that what you just said? Well, oh, that's, that's a really sad... Oh, yeah, I have to say, I like Man with the Golden Gun or Man Let Die. Yeah. yeah. 
It, dep it depends. Uh, it's hard, isn't it? I think if you were to watch some of the older movies now, I think they're, you've got to be a big fan, haven't you? Did you know what I mean? Yeah. You've I mean, to... they're, they're so, they are so inappropriate now when you look back mm. on these things and you just sort of think, oh, you can't. They're, they're, they're full of innuendo. Yeah, they are. And um, very sort of... Um, um, well, they're, they're very of their time, aren't they? Like, yeah. Because um, he, he's very... What's the, what's the word to describe Bond? Um, he's quite a chauvinist. Chauvinist yeah. is a good word. Yeah. I mean, I, I remember reading one of his... One, one of his books, one of the books, and it mm. says things like, oh, women shouldn't get themselves... Um, they should just spend their time making themselves look pretty, kind mm. of thing. And that was, like, the whole ethos of those original Bond films. I think more so with Connery, wasn't it? And then yeah. more, I think it was less of that. But, like you say, his, like... You know, bit of innuendo and his wisecracks, and um, I, yeah, I love *Man with the Golden Gun*. is a good movie. Yeah, I, I love *Octopussy* as well, and I think oh, even even Roger Moore fans, even Roger Moore fans are a bit mm, not so fussed about that one. But I oh, love, I love that movie. Yeah. Uh, no, *Jaws* is in *Moonraker* and also *The Spy Who Loved Me*. Mm. *Jaws* was actually one of, I think, actually the only henchman ever to return in a Bond movie. Oh. Mm. No. They, I just, um, I, I always thought when I grew up, I'd be able to have a Fabergé egg. Oh, yes. Um, and Property of a lady. Yeah. And apparently, I can't have one. But I remember watching it and saying to my dad, could I have one um, when I grow up, when I'm like 12? Yeah. And I'd go, yeah, yeah, of course you can. Of course you can, love. That was Octopussy, by the way, not yeah. Mo Moonraker. Yeah. Mm. Um, I makes me want to go and watch a Bond movie now. <laughs> me too. They're usually on. Like, they're, they're always on Bond movies, aren't they? On one channel or another here in the UK. Usually on a Sunday afternoon. Charlotte, I would recommend you start with a Brosnan one. I would, I would say maybe a Golden Eye is a good shout, actually. Yeah. Is uh, that the one with um, Senya on the top? Yes. Uh, yes. Yeah. Senya on the top. Yes, it is. Yeah. Mm. And she... She was um, the the woman, the stunt woman that played her yeah. was Una, who won Gladiators. Gladiators. Yeah. Yeah. For England, James. It's got Sean Bean in it as well. It has, yeah. Seen Bean. Yeah. Or Sha Sean Bourne. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's, that a is a good, that's a good film. And um, who's the guy who's um, the Scottish actor? Robbie Coltrane. Oh, yeah, he, no, but there's another Scottish actor who's like... Oh, um... um I'm invincible, he says. Oh, Alec, Alan... Alan... Cummings, yeah. that's correct, yeah. I'm invincible. Yeah. That's really good. And Tina Turner sings the theme tune, which is even better. Yeah. Right, so you can see what I'm doing here. I'm stitching around the edge. I'm going to stitch around the... Um, yeah, back to the show. Yeah. Um, could, could we have a James Bond themed show? <gasps> could we all dress up for James, in James Bond clothing? Yes, well, we could. I might come as wear? Jaws and use me braces. <laughs> Stick some tin foil in my mouth. I went to a, a birthday party and it was a James Bond theme and one guy just wore a white um, dressing gown and carried a bottle of champagne and two glasses. That is that was brilliant. Good. Yeah. That is so funny. I can always, always imagine someone would have come like dressed up with the old uh, jetpack as well. From, is that Thunderball when he had yeah, the jetpack? Yeah, yeah. There was one girl who just wore a bikini with, a, with a dagger. Um, yeah, Ursula uh, Andrews. Um, that, that was, what's her name? Ursula uh, Andrews. Yes, that, yeah. Yeah, that yeah. is, that was Doctor yeah, No. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, that wasn't a great movie of Brosnan's. That was, um, Dino, that was Dying of the Day, wasn't it, with yeah. Halle Berry? Yeah. That's when he packed it up. Was that the one with the diamonds in the face? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and the, and the invisible car. We haven't spoken about Timothy Dalton. I like the Dalton movies. And I, I'm afraid, I have to say, Timothy Dalton, for me, um, the best film was Hot Fuzz. Yes, that was on last night. Yeah. Um, oh, film. Dean, it's or, such a great movie. It's or, so or good. Or Flash Gordon. Huh? Or Flash Gordon. Was Timothy Dalton in Flash Gordon? Yeah. He's I the Baron. Not... Huh? He's the Baron. I didn't know that. Yeah. I didn't know that. All right. OK, so um, I've not got enough time to make this. It takes a little bit of time to put it together. But I can show you one I made earlier which I've not quite finished, but you can see how he begins to look. Um, we've got his little face, so we just need to stitch these pieces on here. So you've got all those perforations, so it's easy for you to stitch them together. And obviously his little nose. I just did some little um, 
French knots to create um, his eyes, but you can put a little bit of um, beads on there. And um, what you will also need to do is just um, put a piece of other felt around the edge, like that. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh. <coughs> Frog in my throat. And then you can see we just stitch around the outside to create that little design. Yeah. Um, but want, if you want to put a little piece of ribbon in him, I'll finish him off. So there's another one that I've done earlier with really the ribbon cute. on there as well. I like the idea of using these as little um, decorations yeah, as well. Yeah, I think really so. Good. And, you know, it's always nice to have a decoration that you can keep. Um, so you can have, you know, as a keepsake. And then I would just embroider on the back mm. the year that I made that. That would work really well. Yeah. Super cute. Mm, I think um, so. You guys are loving these, and I think, as I said, because it spans your paper craft and it spans your soft craft as well, and the fact that you get the free felt within the bundle. There's the bigger bundle of the Showstopper if you want it, but actually, do you know what? This is the one that everyone's going for, because I, I really think it's applicable to everyone, paper crafters, soft crafters, whoever it might be. £31.97 or $41.44. I, I, I feel like um, we should do a vote for the demo of the show. I know really? you're kind of going like, well, I've not really done the pro... You have done a couple of projects. It's Snowman versus Holly, isn't it, really? It is, yeah. Should we... S Snowman versus Holly. Sh should we show those? Yep. So, number one... Is the... Holly. Holly. One for the Holly. <laughs> and number two... It's one for the holly, two for the snow. <laughs> Three to get ready now, go, okay, go. One for the holly, two for the snowman. Um, on these felt Christmas characters, says Beverly, could you add some, could you add some, <laughs> sorry, Becky's got herself stuck to the pack. <laughs> could you, could you add some stuffing? Could, yeah, absolutely. You could definitely give them a, a, a bit of stuffing in there and make them sort of more 3D. You could do that, no problem at all. Okay. Uh, vote now then. One for the holly, two for the snow. Um, <laughs> the snowman has got some big paws, says Lillian Kwok. Ha ha ha. Uh, he's got because of the. Oh, yeah, a pause. And not pause, but mm, pause. Pause. And Dawn Braddock says the snowman is so cute. I've got a funny feeling the snowman might win that vote, but you never know. Stranger things have happened. Right, let's have a look at some other goodies that you might want to pick up. Softer side, of course, comes your way in an hour and ten. Uh, this is the cut and stitch multi craft dies. Kind of. Um, everyday collection I suppose really uh, it comes with uh, 48 dies and your uh, rainbow felt bundle as well um, so you're going to get all of that included look at that you can make your own little uh, cloud you've got your heart little flowers in there too little butterfly and then all of that felt as well that's an even uh, better deal look at that 48 dies and the felt 29 pounds 60 or $34.40 if you're shopping in the US and you're a Platinum member. Uh, also, other deals which you might want to pick up are, are £5, $5 deals. I mean, we've got, we've got loads of those. Is that what you want me to look at? Oh, okay, good. I just saw that. £5, $5 deals. Um, I, I haven't got that specific die, but look, we've got tons in here. We've got uh, feet for your uh, machine. We've got these scissors. I mean, my goodness me, you're going to be wanting to pick these up, aren't you? Those are in the um, £5, $5 section on the website. These are all deals that Becky's popped together for you because it was her birthday back on Tuesday. Tuesday. Yep. 35. But I do like my birthdays to last a whole week. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, like you said, because you had your birthday, didn't you? And then um, you, was, you, you're still going to celebrate. Working. Yeah, I didn't celebrate, so I'm celebrating on Monday. Yeah. I have noticed that you've brought some cakes in as well. By the way, these are all £5, $5 I'm showing you. Not just some cakes. I've got mm. Christina to make the most beautiful cakes in the world. What cakes are we going to be eating after the show, then? Those ones. What are they, though? What are they? Should I, I, should, I show, should I show you? Well, maybe we could get them in, yeah, in a minute. Yeah. That'd be nice. Uh, I'll, I'll have to show everybody because okay. they are so beautiful. They sound, they sound yummy. We'll have a look. The, by the way, whilst we're getting the cakes in, these are all uh, available for a uh, fiver. Four pounds, four dollars if you're platinum. Check the web is the best thing to do. <gasps> look at those. Look. Wait, no, what the? You, whoa. Oh. That one's just... It is, Oh. They yes. are amazing. We're so lucky here, aren't we? Yeah, we are. Mm -hmm. Which three are mine? Three, greedy. I'm doing me run tomorrow. I've got to get, uh, got to get energy up. Saturday morning park run. Um, 
Oh yeah, I'm not going to be able to grab one for a bit, am I? I've got other things to attend to. But listen, all, all of these are, um, are amazing. You've got your uh, fantastic 12 by 12 quilting stencils. Everything that you're seeing here is a fiver. The Dresden uh, plate is there. We've also got your orange peel shape cutter. Um, I mean, there's tons. Best thing to do is head to the website, go for the uh, £5, $5 deals. Um, and I'll tell you what, we can do the demo for the vote, the vote for the demo of the show as well now, because it has been an absolute landslide on that vote. Um, I can announce it now if you like. Yeah. Do you want it? There's only been one, I mean, not one vote, there's only been one number voted for. Oh, really? Mm. Wow. Is it this one? No. Oh. No, it is that one. <laughs> yeah. The snowman. Thank you very much. I won! Yay! Woo! And you'll win later as well. I will, yeah. What are you doing later in Softer Side? You have to wait and see. Oh. Oh, okay. Secret. Mm, okay. Secret. Uh, but it will be a Becky win today because obviously I'm imagining in Craft Lot later on there probably won't be too many demos, but we'll see. Uh, thank you both for the show, says Anne, and the doggies. Um, and Becky, Ro oh sorry, Rosalind says, Becky, will you be using some of the quilting guides in the later show? Um, How do you I plan to? I'll be using some of the multimedia dies, yeah. I'll be using the Tumblr one in the later show. Okay. Um, that is coming up at 2, obviously. 9 o'clock Eastern, 6 a.m. Pacific. Becky's not back for the later show. She is um, back after that. You'll be on Saturday the yeah, 8th. Sat yeah, Saturday and Sunday I'm in. Is that from here? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, over there. Yeah. Oh, you'll be over here? Oh, you'll be this there. Saturday and Sunday? Yeah, Saturday and Sunday. And then I'm back here doing the soft show on the 8th of July which is the Saturday. So we've got two shows on the Saturday. Yeah. Well. Um, it's going to be amazing. Uh, loads of you will be here with us hopefully at two o'clock this afternoon. More with the brand new um, dies that you've seen there. That showstopper will be featuring again as well. And then as I've said later on this evening from six o'clock, one o'clock Eastern, we have got the Craft Vault, Sarah's signature styley. Um, we've got amazing bundles for you. It's kind of selections of collections. I'll tell you just a quick rundown. We've got Dancing Dragonflies, Country Lane, Garden Party, Once Upon a Time, uh, Say It With Flowers, Enchanted Dreams, Bohemian Selection, The Vintage Butterflies, Through the Looking Glass, Nutcracker, and Swan Lake. The Nutcracker and Swan Lake, though, uh, we're heading down to single figures available on those if you want to pick those up. I have a feeling they won't be here by the time the show rolls round. And all of this, of course, all of these great deals, part of our summer news, where you're going to be getting free gifts simply by spending a tenner. Uh, and that is today's free gift. First time I've seen it, actually. Um, so spend £10, $10, it will automatically get added into your basket. And of course, uh, with it being the summer news event, you're going to get double points on everything. And I did, I don't know if I answered this earlier on, but I did see it and then maybe it slipped my mind. But for those of you who are thinking, oh, summer news event ends today, carries right through the, week, uh, the weekend. So we've got another brand new launch tomorrow, which skips my mind what it is, but I can remember, what's it tomorrow? Is it? Oh, did it great yeah. Dance. And there's at the least frames, frames, yeah. On Sunday. Yeah. The frames that Leanne was spraying with the shimmer sprays on Monday. They are getting launched on Sunday. So look out for all of those. Um, thank you, uh, Dawn says, fun and sweet show. Thank you. Loved seeing the pups. There'll be more pics going up of those, I think, on socials very soon. I know Craig's already posted some more pictures of Clemmy. And whilst we were doing that part of the show, uh, Brent was in as well taking some pictures. So I'll post some more pictures up um, on my socials as well. Uh, thank you so much to uh, Rachel on the socials. Thank you to the team as well. It has been fantastic. Really enjoyed this. And like I said, we've got a jam-packed day still to come uh, over the course of the next few hours um, I will be back with Becky at two and then it's me and Debbie Fisher for the craft vault at six in the meantime probably gonna go and get uh, a cup of tea and probably gonna go and nick at least two of those cakes I think <laughs> uh, we'll see you back here in just a bit until then bye for now <laughs>